All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another fantastic race of the 2023 Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Any% Percent No Mount Skips Tournament. My name is Iron. I'll be one of the hosts for this great race between Fury and Phoenix. And with me on commentary is the wonderful Spider C. How's it going, Spider? Apparently, I'm doing wonderful. So thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got, uh, this is a two-person race here. We have uh, Fury, who's our 22nd ranked uh, runner. Uh, personal best of 3.10.19. Um, that actually is better than my PB. That's pretty good. Uh, fastest tournament time is 3.17.46. And uh, we see our some stats down here. No chance he's caught yet, but hopefully we'll, that'll change, or depending on how, how you think about Chansey. But um, we'll see how that goes. And then Phoenix... Uh, with a 324.18 personal best. Um, I'm not sure if she actually improved that or if that's her current current PB. We just discussed this. I completely forgot. Yeah, it's correct. Eh. Okay. But, uh, both these runners just picked up the game for the tournament. So these are some very good times in such a short amount of time. Mm hmm. So then we're just going to get into uh, into the race here. Both of these runners are running Eevee version, and if anyone's keeping track, yes, this is another race in this tournament I'm commentating where both runner, none of the runners are running Pika. So <laughs> as, I'm, I'm as I only run Pika, I don't know how this happens, but uh, I know a little bit more about Pika than or Eevee than uh, than I did before. So hopefully, I'm not completely useless. But once we get Starmie, it's all the same. So yeah. <laughs> So, uh, just about to get started, and then we get to make the first and possibly the most important decision of the run. Ah, yes. Which character are they going to pick? <laughs> uh, I know Phoenix is a Girl 3 enjoyer. Excellent. I, I approve of that. That is the only correct choice, in my opinion. It's canonical, so, you know. We'll see what we'll see what Fury does, or we'll see if, if Phoenix uh, mis inputs and does something to pick something different. <laughs> Mixes it up. That could happen. Fury is boy one. Oh, oh and Phoenix, Phoenix is girl, girl one. one. Okay. Saved a couple inputs. Good old vanilla character ones here. Uh, so it we'll is, get into the game. Yeah. Uh, standard intro stuff for Pokemon. Rape, name yourself one, name your rival one, and then a whole bunch of mashing uh, before you set your options. Um, yeah, we did see a runner name their uh, their EV OBSY earlier in the, in the <laughs> tournament, <laughs> which is time loss, but totally understandable why they did that. I don't remember who that was actually. I don't. Was it Zion? That. Maybe. I don't, um, I don't remember, but uh, one anyway. One thing that's particularly interesting about this race, as we're getting into it, is that this is the last race of the lower bracket. It is, yes. Um, and so these runners know exactly what times they need to uh, get in order to um, get either qualify uh, to move on to the next round for the second place runner, and for the first place runner, uh, what time they need in order to... Uh, stay in lower bracket pot two, or um, go down to lower bracket uh, pot three. So, I, so yeah, I think I took I took a look at this. It's actually really really interesting. So the current uh, best lower pot two time is Crisis, so the three thirteen forty five, and our current best second place finisher time, or sec the, the only two runners finishing second uh, will advance here. Uh, and they'll be in pot three, and that time is all, not much slower. Three fourteen oh four by Poke Guy. So we have about a twenty second difference between uh, those two times in terms of whether you want to advance. So you want to be just shooting above, pretty much sub three fourteen if you want to advance at this point. Of course, if both runners, I guess if both runners, uh, if the if the first place runner gets a time that's significantly lower, they'll just be in pot three. Um, but well, first place uh, will always... Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, the first place, <laughs> if they finish with a lower run time than that, they'll be in pot three. But yeah, yep. Uh, all right, so we are now at our EV catches. Um, let's use the motion controls for the first time. 
perfect motion controls from Fury and Phoenix. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I, did a pra I did a practice run today and I missed the catch, and then my, my last race I missed twice. So oh no. I think I've missed three times in two races of the tournament so far. I don't know what's going on. What, what is it with this catch? It's yeah, this. I was just thinking the exact same thing. This catch seems laggier than all of the other ones. Um, and I, so just go hard, I just go wide raid every time. <laughs> Uh, so now that we've actually caught our EVs, um, the runners have the option of checking their EVs' natures. Uh, I know that Phoenix has a backup, so she definitely will be checking the nature of her EV. I don't know one way or the other if Fury um, yeah. will be. Yeah, unfortunately for EV, you can't tell based on the CP. That would be really good if you could, but... Well, you could tell if you have neutral, but that's, that's it. Right. So. Um, if Theory decides not to check, then we won't uh, know the nature for about another four minutes. Let's see, and... Oh, I think, are these both, uh, do we get two girl EVs? I didn't see that. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot tell what the difference between boy and girl EVs. The, the pattern on the that tail is a bit of a tart. Okay, Fury is checking. It is Rash. And we have Lonely. And Lonely for Phoenix. Okay. Both pretty good natures, I think. This, this would help if I actually remembered natures. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, Rash is plus Spadef minus... No, plus special attack minus special defense. And then okay. Lonely is plus attack minus defense. Okay, yeah, both of those are very good. Um, minus special defense really only hurts you for um, Starmie. Uh, that's really the only particularly dangerous spot. Uh, minus defense, it can hit you in a few different spots, um, but the big one is going to be on Geo 1, um, assuming that Phoenix is doing the... Um, the one controller version. The one controller. Uh, no, it's always one controller, the, uh, the non-boom strats version. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, with boom strats, you're still doing one controller. You're just using yep. two Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, I know that um, Phoenix has uh, made her own notes uh, based off of um, stuff both from the beginner notes and the uh, advanced notes. So I'm not 100% sure what things she'll uh, be going for in different fights, um, just based off of what the current situation is. Uh, and both runners make it through Route 1 without any significant issues. Uh, I was doing some attempts this morning, and I was having uh, not the best luck in an early game. It was a minefield in my practice run today. Yeah, <laughs> that'll happen. Um, but like I said, both these got through just fine. Uh, so now they get to go back to the lab um, and uh, do their rival fight. Uh, and Eevee, it's a generally pretty good rival fight. Um, with a plus attack EV, you can actually get a two turn, um, which is I'm really nice when that happens. <laughs> it's like always a four turn for Pika. Yeah. Unless you crit uh, twice. It's basically a two turn if you're plus attack and you don't see growl turn two. And then it's pretty consistently a three turn as long as you don't get double growled for. Yeah, the growl is the growl could be a problem. And also getting paralyzed. Potentially. Yeah, and getting paralyzed. That's uh, that'll slow you down real quick. One thing that's interesting, uh, just that I noticed while we're getting into this, is that um, as two EV runners, their trackers look almost identical, um, with the one discrepancy being that uh, Phoenix has Nidoking planned instead of Wigglytuff. Um, so oh, okay. It definitely is possible that she will go for Nidoking strats, or at least hope to do that. And there we go, there's the uh, two turn for Phoenix. Ooh, nice. Phoenix taking the lead there. Obviously still very early, but it's nice to get that two turn. Get, yep. get a good feeling going forward here. It's all about momentum and let's go. Uh, there's so much <laughs> things that can happen to uh, destroy your mental state. So it's like nice getting that early momentum going. Did you happen to catch the characteristic for either of them? I did not, no. Okay.
Uh, Iron, I need you to unminimize that. Yeah, sorry, I, I I just swapped to the Discord application and uh, stream mode was not on, so there were. Uh... There were notifications from Discord. <laughs> I want to make sure to get rid of those. <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, we're beating up some Raditas. Going the exact same. <laughs> uh, these EVs are one EXP short from leveling up, uh, unfortunately. Uh, one unfortunate difference between Pika and Eevee that Iron mentioned earlier is that a Pika player would be able to check their nature at that point. Um, but Eevee has to wait a bit. Yeah. Um, both of these runners now have the option, if they see one on Route 2, they could catch an early oh, bug. Oh, there's a Fury. for Fury. He's going to dodge it. Opts not to, and Phoenix got two rats. So both of them will be doing all of their catches inside of the forest. Yeah, I've always... I'm, 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 I, I always plan to catch a bug out there. I just haven't seen one recently. I, I don't like doing it on... Well, I only play Eevee, but... Um, I don't like it just because EVXP is so tight um, in the early game because you really need to make sure that you hit level 10 for Brock. Um, technically, there are ways to do Brock without double kick, but not recommended. Um, yeah. And so just being able to... Uh, I, personally, I'm nervous about getting a bug outside just because you are a little bit down on XP. Uh, but we can see the first AV, and it is HP for Fury. A little unfortunate. Uh, and special, special defense. defense for Phoenix. Also not terribly helpful. <laughs> um, special defense is Eevee's best stat, and it really doesn't need the extra help from getting AVs. I think my practice run I had earlier today, I had not like nine attack AVs for Misty oh, at level 15 or something. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fury I like up... 44 attack. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Fury picked up the early Pikachu catch. Um, yeah, in don't need to lure just... for that. Yep, no lure for Pikachu uh, or Bulba if you see one. Um, the other nice thing about getting the Pikachu catch er this early, um, in addition to just being a catch to get out of the way, um, is that Fury has the option of two controllering this last fight that Phoenix is currently in. Um, this, otherwise, it's normally a two turn, and this Pidgey knows and can will you and can use stand attack. Um, didn't but get that though, thankfully. Yep, Phoenix got tackle, so we're good to go there. Uh, we'll see if Fury decides to go for the two C or just accept it. Nice. Was that a butterfly on Fury? That was a B drill. But oh, yeah. okay, close enough. <laughs> Looked a bit weird. <laughs> Uh, Phoenix, unfortunately, running into a bug, but uh, we'll just have to run away from that. Um, the reason why uh, we aren't catching things before the lure uh, is because the lure has two effects. Um, the first of which is just more Pokemon spawn. So that's helpful when you're looking to catch things. Um, but the more important feature is that all Pokemon that spawn while the lure is up is one level higher than the maximum level of Pokemon would normally spawn in this area. Uh, and so what that comes down to in this particular zone is that the Pokemon will spawn at level 7, um, which is really good for your bugs, especially because they evolve at 7 and then again at 10. I see Phoenix waiting there a little bit too for a few more things to spawn before she decided what to go for. For me, I like to, if I run into a bug by accident before the lure, I do like to catch it because it's almost the same as catching one outside. You probably have a little bit lower of a catch rate though because it's Ooh, uh, maybe a bit breakout. higher level. Well, there's, there's the the reason why the outside of catches are so nice is because you have a massive bonus to your catch rate before you enter the forest, um, and so those bugs are basically guaranteed, even with no circle. Uh, Phoenix getting the bug no problem the second time around. Uh, Fury likewise getting an excellent. And uh, the first catching section has begun. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, the I, runners. I find these catches are really hard too, just because 
getting that circle. The circle oh, yeah. starts off small and, and uh, <laughs> it only gets smaller. Timing the excellent, I find really difficult. Yeah. Uh, the runners here are looking to get both bugs uh, and then a bell sprout for sure. Um, Pikachu and Bulbasaur are nice bonuses, but they're not required. Um, if you don't get a um, bell sprout in here, then you can choose to catch one outside instead, um, which can be nice. Um, but it's a bit of a risk because it, it comes at a higher level. Um, but it's a bit of a risk because uh, if you don't see one, then you have to reset the route a couple times. Um, but the Bell Sprout in particular is required because we need a grass type in order to enter the first gym. Um, and so only Bell Sprout and Bulbasaur um, meet those requirements with Fury playing slots in chat. <laughs> so. Fury must be feeling pretty good about this start. Oh, he's, he's just during the evolution. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so pretty standard catches so far. Um, I don't think either of them have seen a bell sprout. Oh, actually, Fury or er, Phoenix has a Pikachu on screen, and there was also a glowing sprout. So Phoenix's Ooh. forest is Very looking nice. real good. I'm not used to seeing Pikachu <laughs> You're, and, well, and, it, and its attack. <laughs> yeah, you're used to uh, just ignoring those when they show up. <laughs> Unfortunately, right, I think Pika Pikachu must be significantly easier than... Although, of course, Eevee, if when you catch it in Pika, you're getting it in Psychic Road, so it's a very high level. Um, yeah. But I, don't, I think the catch rate is still a bit easier on Pika. Yeah, so if I remember correctly, um, in this game, because you catch it so early, Bulbasaur's catch rate was artificially lowered for this game, and so its catch rate is actually much better than the other Kanto starters. Ah, okay. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Pikachu's catch rate is easier in that uh, regard as well. Uh, but it looks like all these catches have gone through, so I believe our runners will, uh, after a few more evolutions... Okay, level 10. Okay, yep. Teaching Grumble Kick here. Uh, double click over Growl because uh, you don't need Growl, uh, and Tail Whip is going to help us against the Onyx. Um, but yeah, so now that they're wrapping up evolutions and catches, uh, they can go ahead and exit Forest to um, go ahead and face Brock. Um, the other thing that they might do before Brock is possibly catch a Rattata or a Pidgey outside. Um, it doesn't. A Pidgey is a little unfortunate to catch at this point um, because it makes the Pidgeotto, getting Pidgeotto Pidgeot a bit uh, more difficult in terms of your catch routes. Um, but Rattata especially is really nice for both early XP and then you can just catch a Raticate later on for another uh, EXP bomb. Yeah, Raticate is a bit easier than Pidgeotto for sure. Yep. Uh, but we'll see if either of these runners even have the option and if they do decide to go for it or not. So for for forest and, and Eevee, you're generally trying to catch your. I guess you're trying to catch your bugs first, or do, does it really matter what your order is? Uh, I guess you kind of want to get the Pika first if you can. Well, you don't want to get the Pika first because otherwise it's getting too many levels. Um, so I think generally oh, you're going for your bugs and then your Pika and then your Sprout. Um, okay. Alternatively, let's see, Sprout third would also be fine. Um, the only reason why I'm thinking about that is because um, unlike in Pika version, where you can just mash through the um, selection... Oh, okay. Phoenix is going for a glowing rat. Glowing That's rat, a really yep. nice pickup. Um, in Pika version, you can just mash through this menu that Fury is entering. Um, but in uh, Eevee, you have to do an input to get to your Sprout. So you either want it to be in the second, third, or fourth, or sixth, I guess, slot in your party, so you can get to it with it. I guess that wouldn't be third. Sorry. So second, fourth, or sixth slot in your party, so you can get to it with a single menu input. I don't know. That was way too much explanation for something that doesn't <laughs> matter. But anyway, Fury is entering Brock. Um... <laughs> So, Brock fight is pretty easy if you actually have 
decent attack and are level 10. Uh, it's just going to be two double kicks on the Geodude, and then a Tail Whip and more double kicks to take out the Onyx, um, which is a bit slower than uh, what Pika Runners are used to, but uh, it works out pretty well. Yeah, because Pika, like, you're using, you're actually using Oddish for a few fights, so it's kind of important that you get a god. You, if you, you get your Oddish in, in Forest, you get it early and not towards the end of your catches, because you typically just go for the two bugs and Oddish. So if you get Oddish last in the forest, it's entering Brock at level 7, so it's a bit of a slow fight. And then you can play the Route 2 Roulette, which is always a fun time. Just step outside, hope there's an Oddish there, and there's never an Oddish there when you need it. So. And then you uh, do that three more times. <laughs> and then eventually you're... And then sometimes your lure runs out, and you have you end up catching a level 3 Oddish oh. and using Bulbasaur on Brock. I've done that. That's fun. That does not sound fun. Hey, look, Phoenix <laughs> got the exact thing, the thing I was talking about. So the Sprout was in slot 5, so she had to do two inputs. <laughs> it was relevant. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, if you... It's it's really, really annoying if you uh, don't choose the Grass Pokemon, because you don't get... It's not like he gives you a second chance to pick a Grass Pokemon. He kicks you out of the gym, and then you have to walk back in. It's really silly. Well, hopefully we won't see uh, any or either runners uh, getting kicked out of gyms today. Nope. When is when is kicked by Brock Spider? Uh, that sounds incredibly pointless. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. It would actually just be awful because you would have to reset for an EV that with a plus attack nature that gets an attack AV. Because <laughs> then you have two shot them. You, the Metapod at lowest level. Anyway, uh, Fury is doing the first shop of the run, um, selling Pokeballs, which means that it looks like he is doing the beginner shop. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention uh, as the runners finished up Brock is that um, Brock gives a TM uh, Headbutt, uh, which is a 70 power normal move, um, which is used in both runs, but it is incredibly good in Eevee, because uh, as a normal type, Eevee gets a stab bonus from Headbutt, um, and so we're going to be going through a lot of fights um, just using Headbutts to get one-shots. Um, with Phoenix having a plus attack Eevee, um, it's going to be especially impactful and uh, clearing out a lot of fights. You can see Phoenix kind of pulling out on catches. Uh, she caught the that glowing rat on Route 2, which gave her a bit more experience so that uh, her bugs, at least one of them, maybe both actually, will evolve here after the Brock fight. Uh, and this is really nice to get the evolution early. Um, because, yeah, get them in the box quickly. Yeah, you can get them in the box. Um, especially, so it looks like Beedrill did not evolve yet. Um, but Butterfree is the though. one to you really want to deposit early anyway. Uh, because when Butterfree hits level 13, it tries to learn three moves, uh, which is extremely slow. Um, and so Phoenix being able to just deposit the Butterfree sooner than later um, takes away that concern. Yep. Uh, Fury buying Magikarp um, for an outrageous $500. Uh, it's the fastest catch in the run. I wish we could get all of our Pokemon for 500 bucks. <laughs> okay, no ambush encounters starting Mount Moon. Let's see what uh, Phoenix does for shopping. Looks like she's doing the uh, more advanced shop. Yep. I th think she does a custom shop, actually. I think she buys um, different status items than uh, either... Uh, like I won't say official guides, but the commonly used guides. Elbow? Yep, buying early para heals, um, just for a little bit safety in Moon, uh, because you can uh, get paralyzed uh, if you get particularly unlucky. Uh, Fury did uh, his. Menu to start out Moon, Lured, and uh. Oh, okay. Thank you for sheep in the context, for context in the chat. 
the etiquette shop. And cheap shop. Alright, no uh, no snake in the grass for Phoenix. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Fury is now going to be heading down to the moon basement. Um, Should I get cycle there on that spinner? Or that rotator? Yeah. Another good cycle. That spinner can uh, look down, and when that happens, it's faster to just go up and around them than to actually wait. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Fury's heading down to the basement to do moon catches. Uh, in Mount Moon, we're looking for three standard catches uh, that are Geodude, Paris, Ooh, and Clefairy. Hello. And starting off the glowing Clefairy is extremely good. That's a good one. We'll see if either the runner just get double moonstone as well. Oh! Okay! Big Fairy! And it looked like a glowing Paris as well on the bottom left. So this is looking like a real good moon for uh, Fury, assuming these actually uh, get in. Fury's going to switch to Great Balls here. Improves the catch rate a little bit. So this Clefairy stays put. Looks like it will. Okay, that should be guaranteed. And uh, Phoenix is doing her early menu, uh, or regular menu as well, um, getting rid of the Butterfree early um, to yeah. stop that, like I the said. Fury here will get both of his bugs evolved, which is good, so he can get those in the box before he catches the big big, 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 big fairy. Yeah, that's actually really nice that how these uh, XP values worked out with that glowing fairy. Um, only got one extra level, and then it can do a big deposit before going for the Clefable as well. Yeah, it uh, looked like a looked like a standard Clefairy, not uh, not a Wombo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that might have been that might have might have put that would almost definitely have pushed that Butterfree to the level where it would have learned extra moves. Well, Metapod does not learn uh, the extra moves, so it's actually. I mean, obviously, it's a bit slow, but it's not bad if your Metapod... Oh, but if, it land, if Metapod landed at 13 and then evolved, would it still... No, it wouldn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Uh, okay, so then Phoenix is through the Bellsprout fight as well, and is now ready to start her uh, catches in the basement. Uh, gets the early Paris spawn, thought about going for it, decided to uh, stick with just looking in the basement. Yeah, it's, um, it, you, really, you only want to catch, like, the Fable or Chansey early. Oh, goes for this one, though. Uh, which I don't... I didn't see what time... Level 11, so... Okay. She must I have lured see... then, because the, the spawns yeah, are all level 11, yeah. Yeah, because you lure um, before the Bellsprout Trainer in... Yeah. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, I don't know what time Phoenix set her clock to at the start of the run, um, but stopping to catch this Paris might mean that she's out of contention for double Moonstone. Um, the idea for that is that we set our clocks to a time that will roll over to the new day um, between picking up the hidden Moonstone that Fury already grabbed in the basement, uh, and then the new day will roll over, and then the Moonstone has a 50% chance to respawn. Yep. Another Clefairy on screen. Um, and so Fury is now depositing, which means that it is Clefable time. Yeah, so he's, he smartly went for the Paris before going for Clefable as well, so. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Switching to double greats. double greats, definitely a good call. Uh, as we found out last year, uh, the ball that you have in your second controller matters as well, uh, which has massively helped with um, catches. That was oh, well, that's nice dodging by Phoenix. Is that a shiny Paris? No way. I think Phoenix got a shiny Paris. All right, excellent throw there on the Clefable. That was good. Fury got a quick, quick throw there on the first throw, but unfortunately, it was a great and it broke out. It broke out, so gets it on the second or okay, third. I think. Nice. Fury uh, just needs a Geodude now, I think, and then uh, 
That's, that's but Phoenix already has a Paris, so she's she's not gonna cash. Or maybe she will oh. cash it for a meme. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, have all shinies seen been caught in this tournament so far. I'm not sure. I believe so. No, wait. Oh, Dynam yeah. saw a shiny rare char and didn't catch it. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's a that's a sunburned Paris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's like the real color for a crab. Um, but both runners XP is actually looking really good, even though they haven't fully finished up their catches. Um, Phoenix is going to hit level at least 14 off of this. Um, and as long as you're about 20% of the way to 15, then you will be 15 by the time you exit moon. Um, so she's almost 15. So in a really good spot. Yeah. Uh, and then Fury, Fury 17, Fury 17, uh, off of the. Um, glowing catches plus the Clefable. So. And I think that. Okay, Fury did not get double. Moonstone is now exiting and will be um, going through all the trainers on the way out of Moon. Um, is, oh, the trackers look kind of weird. Yeah, they, oh, there they we do go. that. I need to <laughs> fix something. <laughs> the, uh, I'm planning on fixing that tomorrow night, so hopefully it'll be good for round three. Okay. Yeah, it's, it works very well in general, so... These small hiccups still, I'm sure. Looks like both our runners have the same catch count. Obviously, the difference here is we have Fury with Clefable, and Phoenix has the uh, that glowing rat from Route 2. And with... Uh... Neither runner getting double Moonstone. Uh, their planned amounts really haven't changed all that much either. Um, Phoenix getting the one shot on the um, Sandrew. Couldn't think of the name. Um, that can be a range. I, I think it's That's really good attack, always a range well. at 14. Um, but with plus attack, it was actually probably a pretty good range. Uh, and then, yeah, so both runners will just be making their way out of Moon now, uh, fighting any, fighting all of the required trainers on the way. Um, the only reason why okay, they would... get the one shot here on Browsy. Oh, yep. Yeah, definitely. At, I think 17. it's basically guaranteed at 15. So at okay. 17, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, I know Pika, you need to be pretty high level for it. Okay. Oh, oh Phoenix right into, into another fairy. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, the only reason why I think the runners would be stopping on their way out of Moon is if they... Uh, get bonjoured. <laughs> we'll have to see if that happens. Fury once again playing slots as he enters a fight, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, just uh, be... you just keep the command on your clipboard and hit Control Z. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Got to have priorities in the race. Uh, Phoenix also getting the one shot, um, but like I said, 15 plus attack, easy one yep. shot. Uh, let's see. So with both of them having good XP, uh, onyx. ooh, nice Onyx. Phoenix decides not to go for Moon Onyx. That's a controversial one, I'm I'm sure. Some people go for it, some people don't. I think if it was here and I bumped into it by accident, I would go for it, but it's not something I would go after. Unless I really needed experience. Apparently, Phoenix did not see the shiny Paris. No way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so they're getting through these fights. Um, but yeah, with them both being in good... Uh, XP situations, they're not going to be forced into catching something on the next route before entering Cerulean, um, which is really nice. Um, and honestly, with these levels and uh, and or attack stats, um, they might go for the um, one shot on coughing in the J&J &J fight, which is just a tiny bit faster. I believe Fury went for the uh, dome. 
or Helix, sorry, the correct choice. <laughs> see if uh, Phoenix still goes for the same. I've been thinking Dome just to be different. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you seen? Did you see the two races? I, I mean, it happened at least twice where uh, someone was clearly looking at Dome and it picked Helix. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that. That sounds very similar to what happened to Echi with the uh, Victory Road train. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, this game is a little weird sometimes. Uh, Fury did decide to go for the Ekans first, which is the normal strat, so perfectly fine to do that. Um, actually healing to top off Eevee, so it looks like he's confident in this one shot even still, and just wanted to get that tiny little back. Is that just healing. because coughing has better physical defense? Yeah, yep, exactly. Okay. Yeah, because um, it's the exact so opposite on Pika. <laughs> yeah. Thunder shocking. Yeah, so I mean, the idea is that if your Eevee's attack isn't as good, you would one-shot the Ekans and then have Bellsprout help finish off the coffin. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and with Phoenix's Eevee all likewise being damaged, I think she might be going for the exact same uh, thing as to uh, attack the coughing and then heal on the Bellsprout's turn. Um, Fury picking up the PP up, which is a nice... Um, safety item for races um, in addition to um, selling for more than the fossil um, you can also hold on to your fossil uh, just as some uh, extra insurance for the late game to make sure that you hit the required 50 catches um, because you can just revive your fossil and get two free ones Phoenix is through J and J and heading out about Moon. This race is pretty close. Yeah. Yep. Uh, with both runners being on the same catch count and pretty close by. Um, Fury is now learning the EV special moves, which are excellent. Uh, there is one for each of the types of the Kanto evolutions. Uh, so we're going to get a fire move that always burns, a water move that heals you. And an electric move that always paralyzes. Um, they're good. They do a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> and Fury's Eevee was um, plus special attack, right? Yeah, it was Rash, I think. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's going to one-shot the Starmie. Uh, assuming that he's been getting at least a couple special attack AVs. Um, with this level. So Buzzy Buzz is special. Or is it physical? Yeah, Buzzy is Buzzy and Bouncy are special. Well, and Glitzy are, is special as well. Um, yeah. And then Sizzly is physical. Yeah. Batty Bad, which is another excellent move, <laughs> is also <laughs> special. <laughs> oh, it is special. Yeah. Interesting. Because it raises, it brings up reflect when it's used. So you right, think but it, it would be it physical. Is, huh. Yeah, it is a little weird, but they both are special. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be teaching Batty Bad in this run <laughs> unless something goes very off the rails. Um, but Phoenix got through the first fight. Did he take damage from the Goldeen? Must not have. Um, because with a uh, minus Spadef. Um, if you enter in this uh, Misty fight at not full HP, it can get a little sketchy. Yeah, uh, you, do, you do take a hit from the Psyduck as well. So. Yep. Yeah, generally you're going to see uh, Water Gun from the Psyduck and Scald from the Starmie, um, but they can mix it up a little bit, and it gets a little weird when that happens sometimes. Um, but, like I said, with uh, Fury's special attack. Uh, it should be a nice one shot. Um, did not deposit the Clefable or Geodude, so unfortunately, the Geodude is trying to win Stealth Rocks. Ooh, Phoenix missing the one shot on the Goldeen. That's unfortunate. Um, that's a pretty favorable one shot. And yeah, Phoenix, or Fury got the one shot on Starmie. Oh, good. Fury hitting level 18 here. Um, which is really high for this point. Uh, I, I don't think he can, he'll actually do it, but it's possible that he might be able to have the stats in order to just 
sizzly slide the entire rival fight. Or no, wait, those, that's plus attack that you would do that on. Never mind. If, if Phoenix had Fury's XP, then it would happen. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll probably see a normal rival fight from uh, both these runners. See how Phoenix's Misty goes here? Phoenix, I think, is level 16 entering this fight, which is pretty standard, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yep, and coming in at full HP, so it should be a very safe fight. Uh, and then on the other side, Fury is coming up to the rival, or starting the rival fight. Um, but like I said, at level 18, this is completely free. Um, and Phoenix did not get burned, so... Uh, good uh, Misty fight, uh, even though it was the normal three turn or four turn version. Um, but now is time for Nugget Bridge for both of our runners in just a couple minutes, um, which is fascinating in both versions of the game. Um, Eevee has even fewer decisions than Pika does, because I know Pika can choose to uh, to see a fight or not. Yeah, um, but Eevee will just one-shot everything on the bridge, um, and in fact can just bouncy bubble the Sandshrew and Growlithe to actually heal up to full HP. Um, so, oh, so jealous. <laughs> so yeah, so as long as you as long as you don't get burned by Misty, um, you generally don't have to heal for quite a while. Uh, That's really good. Yeah. Potions, at least. Yeah, the Rao fight's pretty good, too. It's just one shot all three. Mm -hmm. Is the Pikachu yeah, always die to headbutt? Yeah, I was just going to say, if you're forced into doing it early, um, yeah. if you aren't 15 for Misty, then the Pikachu will be a two shot. Um, but I th think it's always a one shot at 15. Um, but, I mean, both these runners are high enough XP where even if it wasn't normally, it definitely would be now. Um, the one other somewhat interesting thing about um, the bridge fights is that we can um, we can KO a lot of these Pokemon with uh, Headbutt. Um, and the reason why you'd want to use Headbutt over your special moves is because it can, um, it, it would skip the super effective text. Um, and so, but you don't have enough headbutts to actually go through everything. Um, so as the runners are going through here, depending on how many headbutts they used previously, um, they might use slightly different moves um, against the same Pokemon. Um, and that's that's it. I've run out of interesting things to say about Nugget Bridge. Everyone do slots <laughs> in the chat. Yeah, it's the resident sleeper section of the run. Uh, the coughing coming up on the rocket, is that uh, is that a one-shot for Eevee as, as well? Or? Um, So you would normally use um, Buzzy Buzz, and I don't know what the range is, but it, it should be a one-shot on with plus special attack. Fury should definitely take care of it. Yeah. I did not talk about the pillars being nuggets, because I did not know of that until yesterday. Um... The pillars on the bridge are nuggets. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is like this is like the flexing trees from Gen 3 and Radiant Forest <laughs> all over again. <laughs> um Yeah. Nugget Bridge, it's a good time. Um oh, well, yeah. The one other interesting thing here, because we're really digging deep now, is the uh, the final rocket on the bridge is um, you can either walk in front of him or you can talk to him. And depending on which you choose, you will get a different battle background. Um, oh, Fury, well, what? Fury chose to talk to him, and so Fury is still standing on the bridge, and so Fury will get the bridge background. 
uh, for the fight. Oh. Yeah. If, if, and then if you walk in front of him, then you're standing on the the path, so you get the uh, the grass background. Interesting. Imagine like one background lagged more than the other. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they do, and we just never bothered to check because it would be so minor. Um, but yeah, so Fury is just going through these fights. Uh, we should get the coughing one shot, like I said. Um, but if it doesn't, oh, the oh, coughing, yeah, the coughing just tackles you, um, and so it doesn't really matter if you miss. Oh, the you one don't shot. see smog ever. I... Uh, most of the time I see tackle. I'm sure it can smog you. Um, but... Yeah, I've seen that a lot. In Pika. Pika um, most of the time, but. Well, a lot of the time, two shots that, unless you have really high level and high attack. Okay, sure. Because you have to zippy zap. Sometimes you can just headbutt twice. Yes, I did talk about that, Sandy. <laughs> well, let's uh, see what Fury... Phoenix does here with that fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Fury did not get any good spawns, uh, so he just going right through. Um... Oh, she talked to him too. Okay, so yeah, so we're going to double bridge background. Um, All right, in my next race, I'll, or next time I run to a run, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to walk in front of the guy. <laughs> as long as you, uh, as long as you don't make him walk, uh, supposedly it's the exact same amount of time. So you don't actually even lose time by choosing your background. Yeah, because he turns and does an exclamation point if you talk to him, I believe. So yeah. Here you saw Fury navigating the uh, the first skip of the run. Taking advantage of some very narrow vision. No knock skip, though. Yep. I, I don't expect uh, Phoenix to go for knock skip either. <laughs> uh, looks like Phoenix, I think, got the one shot on coughing. So, uh, yeah, not not a bad one shot, even when you don't have full special attack. Um, we'll see if she gets any better spawns on the route than Fury. Um, if you see a Meowth or possibly a Venomat. Ooh, There's there we a... go. Um, a couple of them, actually. Yeah, one of them Here, was Katie, trying Katie, to hide, Katie, Katie. and all right, there we go. <laughs> Neither of those wanted to be caught. Sounds like cats to me. Yeah, but at <laughs> least they were running uh, closer to the route and not further away. Because sometimes you can chase after a um, meowth and it just is halfway across the uh, the grass patch. That is an excellent point, Gavin. Um, if Phoenix caught both of these Meowths and then three more, <laughs> she could get a bird or an Arcanine. Right, Pokemon, let's go. Yeah. Uh, would not recommend, but technically an option. Oh, there's and a Venonat as well. Not one that Phoenix decided to take. Um, and also going for her trainer pass. Clean. Very good. Uh, yeah, neither... for, P for Pika there, the only thing you can really go for is Venonat. I guess we didn't talk about Squirtle, but that is technically also an option. Oh, it's yeah, very I gonna, rare. Uh, I was going to see if Spina or Fury got a Squirtle on the way back, but he did not. Uh, so we'll just have to see if Phoenix sees the first one, which I believe we haven't seen a Squirtle yet in the entire tournament. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, all the races I've seen, there haven't been, but I've missed a few. Yeah, same here. Uh, Alright, so then uh, Fury is playing Detective Eevee. Um, oh, found a clue. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's the big hole in the wall. <laughs> uh, and so now Fury will be coming up to the next catching section, which is still important in Eevee because you're looking to get catches obviously um, but not quite as important as it is in Pika uh, in Pika there yeah. is yeah, I'll let you talk about it because you know more than I do yeah so for Pika you you pretty much well you can make do without it technically but you want a Growlithe here coming up on Route 6 uh, because it's just a really good partner Pokemon until you get to Route 10 and you catch your, uh, your Nidoran uh, you can't make do with other options. If you get like super lucky and get like a glowing Chansey in Mount Moon, and you're like level 22 or something. Here, you can just you could one control a rival, and you can you can kind of do some of the other fights with other mons. I wouldn't recommend using Pidgeotto though, but uh, I've seen people use Oddish 
as a partner um, on some of the fights, but you definitely want to see a puppy here. And then obviously there's a few other options like Jigglypuff, which of course is available also in Eevee, and uh, you can go for a Pidgey early as well if you if you want. Uh, yeah, there's a couple so... other yeah, there's a couple others you might want to catch, but you better to save for later, like Psyduck. Yep, and so. Uh, Eevee is basically the same, except instead of Growlithe, we have Vulpix, um, which is an excellent Pokemon still, but not terribly useful. Um, and so it's it's fine if you leave without it, um, but it also... Uh, so it's not as imperative as it is on Pika. Uh, once again, no Squirtle sighting. Uh, I did see that Phoenix threatened to ditch Bill, but went back for him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fury picking up the Hidden Nugget and the Lure. Um, conveniently, the game gives us lures right before we want to do all of our catch sections in the early game. Um, yeah. Okay, Fury is finally getting rid of the Clefable and Geodude that's been, that have been hanging out in his party. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and lure uh, to start the catch. One other quick thing is in the I don't know if, I don't know if this happened in Eevee, but the old old route for Pika, you actually would fight the rocket after the the house to get dig. Yeah, and that I, was um, that I was think, something that was used for a I bit. I think Eevee did that too, although long before I started. Looking yeah, oh yeah, this before my time as well. Um, Fury did see an early Vulpix, which is oh. Okay. Let's see if he goes. Oh, he's gonna go he's for going it. For it, glowing. Chancy six. We could have a very interesting run on our hand, folks. So Fury's already really a little over leveled, but this Chancy's gonna do some wonders here. Okay. Alright. Let's see what happens. Let's go. <laughs> I'm very I'm curious to see how, what kind of experience we get here. <laughs> Alright, oh, just under 4k. So looks like he's going to get his Weeping Bell. Yep. Ooh, just in time too, level 21. Jeez, that is some uh, some good XP. Uh, not, not quite world record XP, but uh, very good. <laughs> um, that's going to mean that all of the upcoming fights are... Uh, not ranges for a bit um but the other nice benefit out of it is that fury will have almost certainly have the option to teach double edge um pretty early on um which double edge um is gonna make a decent number of fights uh faster um just with yeah. the extra power that you get out of the move yeah and combining that with bouncy bubble i'm sure is is huge because you just heal that recoil damage back Used in combination isn't quite as prevalent as you would expect, but I think, it, yeah, it does help you a, a little bit. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that was Fury's first catch of the route, so he's still getting to get more XP, uh, grabbing his full picks. Uh, and then possibly a Jiggly if he sees it as well. Um, switches back his second controller to a Pokeball, um, just to not waste them, or not waste the Great Balls on doubles until he actually needs to go with double great. Alright, Phoenix is now looking for her catches. Um, oh, there's uh, Vulpix was doing its best to hide behind the gentleman, but <laughs> eventually spotted. Oh, there's a rat, a Pidgey, but it looks like uh, Fury will probably be wrapping things up here. Ooh, gets Ooh. hit by... Unfortunate stutter step at the end. Yeah, uh, and the Pidgey didn't block the trainers. Does right. the, tra the trainer doesn't walk through the Pidgey. Yep. Yeah, so you can save a bit of time, but obviously it's slow, just hit it optional. But luckily, uh, Eevee is equipped with lots of great moves to handle both of these trainers, unlike Pika. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for Eevee, it's obviously unfortunate to hit the optionals, but both of them are one shots. Um, and actually, the trainer on the left has a Charmander, and so. If you hit that one and you're not at full HP, you're like, okay, I guess it saves me a menu. <laughs> <laughs> I think the trainer on the left gives you Pokeballs, Oh, that too, Pidgey so. just flew away. <laughs> oh, Abra. Uh, Phoenix is going to be sneaking Oh, another me. Abra. Very nice. Um, so the the glowing Pidgey unfortunately flew away from Phoenix, but uh, she did get the 
uh, Avro Let's instead. Let's got the mana berries. One, not 100% sure, but I think Fury might have sold the fossil as well. So I wonder if he's just doing a really big version of the shop. Yeah, he's got a lot of bonuses, so I think he could he might be able to get away with selling the fossil. <laughs> Another Abra. <laughs> Is that, oh, that's another, another one. Abra. Oh, it's a going Abra. Let's see if, okay, nice. Phoenix uh, nails the skip. Very nice. Good skip for Phoenix. Uh, yeah, both of them having a catch count of 17 entering Boat Rival, which is very good. Um, that's definitely a good start to the run for both of them. Um, Phoenix still holding on to the Helix Fossil, though. Yep. Uh, so she does still have that extra safety net in her back pocket in case uh, it doesn't continue <laughs> in the way that it's gone so far. Uh, and now it's time for the boat rival, uh, which shouldn't be a problem for either runner. Um, yeah. With with their levels and not being minus speed, um, it'll be a very clean fight for them. Um do you still 2C here for Fury? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just don't well, have... Well, I think so. so. I know for Pika, if you're overleveled, you can 1C. Yeah, because you would just one-shot the... The Oddish um, is the only issue, but you just two-shot that. Right. I'm not sure if... I mean, I'm guessing Fury will, just because he probably doesn't know the ranges. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty like yeah, this is very <laughs> obscure knowledge that I have yeah. no clue on. Um, it's uncharted waters here. Yeah, well, it is. It's been charted once. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Fury probably could one C and just one shot the Pidgeotto, um, but it would definitely be a bit of a risk. So um, I can definitely respect going for the uh, yeah. standard version of the fight. You see, we've been Bell in battle. Yep, you don't see that too often. <laughs> and the crit. Yep, definitely uh definitely one shot that Pidgeotto then. Yeah, very close race so far. Still. Yep. An hour in almost. Pika outspeeds there. Which is actually not bad at all for Fury because um, Pika came out second. And so now Fury can heal Eevee on Weeping Bell's turn. Um, if, it, if you get Pika third, then there's no point in healing because you don't know whether or not the uh, Pika is going to target your Eevee. Um, but this way, you can just go ahead and use that potion to top off his Eevee. Um, we'll save a little bit of menuing um, on the next one. Weaving Bell, unfortunately, hitting 22. A bit slow, because it is an in-battle level up. Chansey also leveling. And then That's okay, at least no new moves were learned, so... Yep, yeah. Not bad at all. It was a, I think it was a standard glowing Chansey Dynam. Yep. And yeah, so here Phoenix did get the Oddish second. Um, so it, it it is possible that uh, she will come out of the fight damaged on the Eevee. Which doesn't matter too much, but like I said, a little bit of extra healing is necessary then. Or advised. Fury is leaving the boat. This is like my least favorite cutscene to skip because it starts really late. Yeah, this cutscene's weird. It's like three seconds before the cutscene even starts. 
And also, why does this cutscene exist? It's just the boat leaving. There's always been a boat leaving cutscene in every Kanto game. <laughs> they had to include it. That is one tradition I could do without. <laughs> Uh, all right, so then on the way back, Fury, um, because he failed the skip before, you can just hug the wall. Uh, no thought required here. And then we'll just uh, do some more walking to get back to uh, the next required fights. Yep, nothing seen there in terms of catches. Yeah, so looks like both runners actually still need their Jiggly. Um, and so Phoenix might go for it uh, on the way back if she sees it. Um, otherwise, they still have the option of catching it um, as they are entering Celadon later on. Um, so both runners still have it planned, even though they haven't um, caught it in the spot where you normally would catch it. Yeah, my experience like relying on that late Jigglypuff not been very successful. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's it's not the best odds of seeing it, but uh, it definitely is a nice uh, bonus later on. Um, so we'll see how Phoenix fares on the uh, skip on the way back. Um, generally, the way back is a little bit easier. Um, you have longer to line yourself up, and you have even a little bit of guidelines. Uh, and got it. Yep, got it. No problem. Yeah, I also, I also looking at the the plan. The planned counts on both for both runners are more than fifty, so they can afford to cut a couple from their uh, let's see. Phoenix actually just removed Jigglypuff altogether. Okay, yep. from her tracker, so that uh, that brings. She was at fifty three, now she's at fifty two planned. So. Ooh, guard spec. No, uh, yeah, guard spec guard. is standard <laughs> on this fight for Eevee. Um, when I first started running this game, um, I was buying the guards back and using it because the notes told me to. And I was like, okay, whatever. But I never actually saw, because the, the reason why is because this Eevee has both Growl and Sand Attack, which are both going to be bad news um, if you get hit by them. Um, but for my first few attempts, I always saw Swift from it. So I was like, why are we buying this guard spec? And then I'm like, oh, okay, that's why. Uh, so Phoenix just moving the sewer potions to the first slot uh, in her bag, which makes nice, easy access for later on. And then we'll go ahead and lure for the next catching section as well. Um, so Fury now entering this fight, which um, this Raticate that comes out second can be a bit of a pain. Uh, but with Fury's level, it's I would be shocked if he doesn't have a headbutt two shot for it. I wonder if it outspeeds still. Um, it probably doesn't. Because I think the issue is it can flinch you, right? No, this one shouldn't be able to flinch you. But we can flinch it. <laughs> I was just wondering what its moveset was. Uh, it's going to be Hyper Fang. Super Fang, Quick Attack, and one other move I'm forgetting. But I don't think it's Bite. Oh, okay. Super Fang or Hyper Fang, whichever one is the one that does half damage. You're taking that spinner safe. Um, yeah, it might be Crunch. Yeah, okay, it is Crunch. I think you're um, right, yeah. That spinner is very bad to hit, so we can definitely respect the slow pass there. Um, okay, interesting seeing spawns. <laughs> a pretty good... I mean... The big rat is a little unfortunate because Fury didn't catch Ratata early. Um, but still pretty good uh, as a yeah, start. The big, for... the big, the big Anito is not great either. Yeah, big, big rat you could technically catch, I guess, and then catch a small rat later if you really wanted. But or you could just yeah. skip it all together. Your catch tracker allows you. But worst case scenario, both runners have uh, at least one repel. I didn't see if either one bought two of them. Uh, um, Phoenix has two. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, two repels is super nice because. Um, this route in particular is uh, particularly important uh, because you 
want to catch at least four of the five available catches here. So being able to reset the route with a lure or with a repel lure is uh, a really handy tool to have. Um, Phoenix getting the somewhat more standard return version of the Raticate, but um, mentioning a quick attack is so lame. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't even be allowed. <laughs> Uh, but yes, yeah, so we'll see what Fury's next two spawns are that come in to replace the two catches. Oh, he does go, for the big rat. go for Big Rat, yeah. Uh, he can catch a Reddita. There's a few different spots where yep. uh, he would have the option still. Uh, Krabby Spiro, that's not a bad start at all for Phoenix. Please stop jumping, Rat. <laughs> Krabby cool. is... Uh, one of the is the rarest of the five spawns, um, so just getting that uh, caught right away um, yeah, hopefully it. means that everything else turns out pretty well for the rest of them. And it didn't, it didn't, it didn't start moving around either. Yeah, that's also nice. And looks like the Abra is evolving, so a couple good catches there for Phoenix. Um, yeah, and that we were talking about the plan counts earlier, the Krabby has brought her up to 54, which is her 54 planned, um, which is a really good situation to be entering Rock Tunnel. Because um, then it means that you're a bit less desperate for some of the spawns to necessarily occur. Uh, there's definitely one in particular that you absolutely want to see, um, especially on Eevee version. Um, but maybe if you don't see your Machop, it doesn't matter quite as much. Fury getting female Nido as well as Krabby. So yeah, looks like some uh, pretty solid Route 10s then. Yep. There's a little rat as well. Yeah, it looks like a really good Route 10 on Phoenix's side for sure. Yep. And Phoenix well. did get a Nidoran male fairly early on. Um, so if she does decide to uh, go for Nido King stat strats, uh, it's going to have pretty decent XP. She's fear getting the fear already. That was a lot of XP off of that rat then. <laughs> yeah, I think first ball standard rat eradicates over a thousand. It's like thirteen hundred or something. So. We had the synced Nidoran registers. Oh, Harry's oh. <laughs> crap is a little less nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, it jumped back to center before it attacked, so I guess not too bad. Fury <laughs> is missing small rat. And I think he has everything else you can catch here. Uh, yeah, looks like it. I think we'll wait for Phoenix's tracker as well. And, Phoenix, uh, has got, uh, Phoenix is still looking for that uh, female Nido, but otherwise uh, looking good. Yep. Yeah, and given the number of other spots, you can get a small rat. Oh, um, speak of the devil, there it is. There's the female Nidoran. <laughs> wow, I'm uh, really I good. Am the, I am the summoner. These, <laughs> yeah. You're looks evolving like, uh, to... Nido King, so possibly he'll, uh, if he knows the strats, he might break him out after all. Yep, it's good to have that option for sure. But Fury's got really high level on Eevee, so I, yeah. I'm not sure if oh, that yeah, makes Nido King strats as useful. Yeah, Double Edge is generally preferred um, to Nido King strats, even among the people who like Nido King strats. So I don't think, uh, that's going to be yeah. much for consideration for Fury. A little party management here from uh, Fury. Getting rid of four things in one go. That's really handy. And I need back Krabby. So it looks like yeah, Fury's done here. He's going to move on to the, ro the rocket fight. And uh, Phoenix has already started that. So Looks like Fury's a bit ahead on catch count. But I think Phoenix has got a few more still to evolve in, in her party. So yep, still very, very close. Yeah. 
uh, things are looking pretty good for both these runners at this point. Um, no real issues for either of them. Yeah, Gavin, so I, uh, Fury has a Rash Eevee and Phoenix has a Lonely. So two pretty solid natures, uh, I would, I believe. Spider yeah. says they're yeah. uh, good, so. <laughs> they're definitely good ones for Pika, so. And uh, just as before, Fury will uh, certainly get the two shot on this Raticate. Oh, look at that damage. Phoenix cracked. hopping for the three turn get the paralysis there. Yeah, I think at level, I think she was 22 on her EV, so that's definitely going to be the preferred version of the fight. Yeah, there's 23. Uh, if she'd gotten just a tiny bit of extra XP, then it definitely would have been possible to go for the two turn on Raticate, but uh, it's what it is. Can't argue about one lost turn too much. Um, but yeah, so now both runners will be heading into Rock Tunnel. Um, with pretty good catch routes up to this point. Um, so, they're looking to continue that streak. and uh, But the main thing that they will really be looking for is Rhyhorn. Um, because unlike in Pikachu, where you have Arcanine as a backup ride Pokemon, uh, in Eevee version, uh, Rhyhorn is your main and really only option. Mm. Uh, neither of them getting good spawns in this first room, unfortunately. I saw Fury with the uh, the Charmander emote, and maybe a sign of, of what he saw, but uh, alas, no. <laughs> Phoenix did see a uh, Zubat, so pick that one up nice and early. Um, these aren't too bad because they, uh, they, well, they take one level to level up, but they try to learn two Ooh. moves, so it's Maybe he he did see a Charmander. <laughs> oh I, yeah, I bet he heard the uh, the rare Char then. Wow, Fury getting a lot of really rare spawns this run. The Fable, Chansey, and now Rare Char. Yeah, unfortunately a great on double great might be a little sketchy of a catch rate, but got oh, he got in. Got it. Yeah, let's go. Phoenix, yeah, you know, definitely, definitely that spawn putting uh, the already good catch route into an even stronger situation. Oh, trapping his support trainer over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a right Ooh, horn. There's the right horn. Traveler. Yeah, okay. That's a, this is looking like a real good tunnel for Fury. It so hasn't even gotten the, uh, build for Fury here. Yeah. Yeah, hasn't even gotten the Pokemon that you want to Evo yet, and it's still a good situation. <laughs> so the one downside about Fury's um, getting the Graveler now is that generally you want to catch Graveler with a pretty full po party of Pokemon you want to evolve, uh, just because it is another nice EXP bomb. Um, but right now he's only got two things that actually want levels. Um, so I wonder if he'll look around the room a little bit before he decides to go for the Graveler. Couple choices for Graveler there for Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, nope, good spirit for, for it. Grappler. Yep. Uh, which will... Let's see, does he still have some... Let's see. Oh, it's Charmander and... Krabby. So the Charmander might evolve off of this. Um, and if so, then he can do a pretty good party menu and deposit to uh, get rid of some stuff and also make Rhyhorn the ride Pokemon. Yep. And uh, Phoenix is going to get three evolutions here. Yep, so Phoenix will be on the evolution screen for just a little bit. And yep, there's the Charmeleon. Level 20, a double edge before Kangaskhan. That, yep. is, so, that seems very early to me. <laughs> yes, it is extremely rare to get double edge for Kangaskhan, but 
Um, this is the first time when double edge actually helps. Like, um, because I believe you can just X attack double edge one shot the Kanga. Oh, yeah, I feel like you could. So, uh, Fury is just going to be getting all sorts of um, time save from fights from here until the end of hideout, really. Unfortunately, Graveler's in the party here, so that's a little time loss. Oh, there's a Cubone. Yep, and here's the party menu to get rid of some stuff, make Rhyhorn the ride Pokemon, uh, and then when he catches that Cubone... Oh, we... okay, looks like Fury might be going for Boom Strats after all. Yep. Uh, like keeping my... the Graveler. Um, but yes, yeah, so now that he did that menu, the Cubone will go directly into his party, uh, rather than having to fish it out later. Is there a Machop on the right there, or is that something else? I didn't see. If if it was a Machop, this would be a ridiculous start to a tunnel. Um, as opposed to Phoenixes, which has not had the best of spawns, unfortunately. Um, I think so yep. far, yeah, only Zubat Graveler, so, er, yeah. Oh, so far. Can't get Rhyhorn either. Lots of Golbats. They're not great. Yeah, Golbats and Geodudes. Oh, that is a Machop, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Rich get richer. <laughs> <laughs> I think Fury's done catching before Kanga, <laughs> including Rochar. Uh, could still go for uh, Zub. Oh, but that's true. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Um, it's staring at how annoying that thing situation. is. I'd, I'd skip it to be honest. <laughs> Still only has 53 planned, um, with Ghastly, uh, and with Ghastly being a little bit temperamental for whether it decides yeah, to spawn or not. Yeah, better to go for the Zubat if you see it, Yeah. For sure. I didn't see why Phoenix opted into a 2C here. I wonder if, um, she got crit by the Kanga and had to heal. Oh, there's the Zubat for Fury. Yeah, okay. So, Fury is done with catches for a while. Uh, there's an Onyx. That but Onyx you definitely don't, don't want to go don't for. Don't go for that. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so now hopefully Fury will send some of his catch luck over to Phoenix. Because Phoenix just isn't seeing any spawns. This is really unfortunate. Where where are the Pokemon? This is Hello? quite something. There another Golbat. What? Another Golbat, okay. Okay, there's some a chop and another Onyx. This is Wow. It's really right. unfortunate. Here's uh, here's double edged strats coming in probably here for Although he is entering with fairly low HP, so I'm not sure how this would uh... Not a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, not dead to recoil. Okay. <laughs> he have revives anyway. That's. Yeah, I mean, Fury has caught literally everything you would possibly want to catch in Tunnel. Um, the only things missed out on are Onyx and Kanga, neither of which you would go no. for in any <laughs> percent run. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, another Golbat! What is up with it, this? What tunnel? is this Onyx doing? It's jumping up and down. I've never uh, seen so that, before. that was actually really well played by Phoenix. Um, so in order to stop the Onyx from moving, it was already standing in an advantageous position. Um, and so in order to stop it from moving to block her, uh, she had the second controller run through it to stun it. Uh, so then it, was, oh. it, it stayed in the exact same spot. That was really well played. Um, very impressive tech. I didn't know that. I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, so this fight you want to burn the Machop because uh, it would destroy you with Brick Break. <laughs> yep. 
yeah, once the Machop is burned, it's uh, not a bad fight at all, actually. Because then you can just heal back up to full on the Rhyhorn. Uh, Fury is actually also going to save with double edge, having double edge this early. Um, Fury will be able to save a turn on the next fight as well, um, because he can just skip the X attack. Oh, why is I'm... this the third Onyx for Phoenix? Please, go away, Snake. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Yep, just resetting the room. I honestly can't blame her in the slightest for that. Grappler. Let's see what, what Phoenix needs here from Rock Tunnel. Oh, there's a there right is. Excellent. Okay. That's definitely that's definitely one thing that she definitely needs. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't... Let's see, so at this point, the only thing she's really missing would be the Cubone, uh, and you always have a small chance of getting that in Tower. Um, and so, yeah, the, the Rhyhorn was definitely what she was looking for. Um, so good to finally catch that, and I believe it was glowing, too, so that helps. Meanwhile, Fury's seen, <laughs> seen several Rhyhorns. Somehow got past that without any encounters. <laughs> Yeah, that, that area is always really scary because if you get an encounter, the, the trainer cycles um, reset and then you get into a situation where you would run into them by accident. Because if you, as long as you don't hit anything, you could, and as soon as you enter that room, you could just run straight down on the left and uh, and dodge everything. Okay. Another gold bat party. <laughs> Fury is very oh. low, but it's fine. Fury going for the faint death there. <laughs> About I don't, two I don't hours think too early. The, uh, <laughs> I don't think that's the faint that the bounty is for. <laughs> but that would be very creative to go for that one instead. Uh, so Phoenix is getting the slightly longer version of this fight, but didn't get burned by the Vulpix, uh, so it's still not too bad. Uh, Fury with a 33 exit. Um, never upset about that. And Phoenix did not get confused by Kadabra, so we're good to go. Yeah, the, the Vulpix fight in, in Pika, you can do that with 2C and just helping hand with Nido King, because usually at that point you're using Nido as your partner. Uh, I do that most of the time. It's kind of interesting. You can you can just you can just set up and, and hope you don't get burned. <laughs> kind of like what the Eevee does, but Pika has got its defense is a little bit worse, and a lot of the time you're entering that fight not full full HP. Sure. All right, uh, Phoenix in the last fight of tunnel, and has unplanned Cubone, um, so she doesn't think she'll she'll see it in the last couple steps. Um, but even with missing out on Cubone, her plan is 52 uh, with Cod of 30, so still in a pretty solid situation for this point in the run. Um, exiting tunnel is generally when you sit down, take a real close look at your tracker, and figure out what actually needs to happen um, for the rest of the run. Um, and both of these runners are in a fairly solid situation. I don't believe either runner has tentacle marked, which is always a good thing. <laughs> Fury is already level 30. Uh, this EV is... That's insane. Absolutely insane, yeah. I didn't see if he's using double-edged strats for... No, it looks like he's doing the standard... Um... Well... Ooh, paralyzed by Thunder Punch. Yeah. But he'll be able to... Oh wait, no, but he hasn't exit. Act. Oh, there's still one more Mon left, yeah. Yeah, because Raichu can come out either second or third. Yeah, she's going to want to heal that. So, yeah. He's, oh, oh, he's going to go through it. Honestly, I think at this level, it's possible that if he had just healed the para, he might have gotten the one shot anyway. <laughs> the Sizzly does a lot of damage to that Gloom at he's level 30, so...
Yeah. But either way, got through. Um, Might have been a little bit unfortunate if he had been fully paralyzed there, but we're all good to go. Uh, now Phoenix is entering the same fight. Um, at this point, let's see, Fury will just do the cutscene and escape rope out. Um, Phoenix will likely um, evolve uh, Nidorino uh, and move it into slot one after this. Oh, yeah, for Nidoro King's threats. Yep. And which means. That if uh, Phoenix does decide to go that route, uh, we will not be seeing any content uh, because both runners will be uh, one-shotting the Clefairy. No. <laughs> so no metronome today. Um, double edge, I think, is a rank can be a range. It's a very good range against the Clefairy, but I think it can be one. There's no way it's a range with this uh, EV. At level 30 already. Uh, and it looks like Phoenix's Eevee got damaged. So, yep, okay, she must have... Yeah, so she must have also been hit by the Thunder Punch from Raichu second. Uh, but did not get paralyzed, so... That's good, yeah. The more standard version of the fight. Um, Zubat evolving here is nice. It means that she can just get it out of her party uh, in this next menu. Um, hey, here's Clefairy. And there goes Clefairy. And so now Fury will just be going on a little bit of a hike to uh, the next town. There, during the, I don't remember who said it in the last run, but the interactive loading screen, I really liked that. <laughs> because that's all that this tunnel is. <laughs> like a 30 second loading screen of uh, walking to the left. Um, but yeah, so I think Phoenix is going to be doing a bit of a menu here to evolve the Nidorino, um, maybe clear out the party a little bit, and then uh, escape rope out to use uh, to prep for using Nidoking in the next few fights. Uh, Fury has the opportunity to catch a couple Pokemon here, uh, Jigglypuff being the main one, but it did not spawn, unfortunately. So true, Zeke. Um, okay, so now Fury will be doing two things in the center, uh, learning Glitzy Glow over Buzzy Buzz, um, and then also Sinking Modest. Um, so then from this point forward, all Pokemon that get caught uh, during the run will have a Modest Nature, which is plus special attack, uh, minus attack, which is going to be very helpful for uh, the last hour of the run. Um... It's a good thing that no one ever forgot to sink modest in this Yeah, tournament. for sure. That'd be real bad. I think like, when I was learning the game, I forgot to. And I was actually fine. I somehow made it through. Wait, Joker forgot I was doing a bit. Do you not know? No, no, I know. I know. I know about okay. okay. Joker, but I have I have <laughs> forgotten before and, and thought I did it. <laughs> You sounded a little bit too serious there, and so I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Does he know that I'm kidding? Um, anyway, uh, so Fury has, with Double Edge, you can just do X Attack, uh, Double Edge on this fight. Um, makes things real nice and safe here. Um, which, actually, we're going to be seeing... So in Hideout, there's like, there's like four different fights, versions of the fight for every fight in Eevee. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but in this particular case, we'll be seeing uh, Double Edge on one screen and um, Nido King Strats on the other.
Yeah, there's a few options in, for the, some of these fights in Pika too, because uh, you use Rhyhorn on JJH. I'm, which I'm sure you do also in Eevee, but you yeah, use although Rhyhorn a bit in this earlier case, as well. in this case, Rhyhorn is more of just there as a tank than anything else. Um, there are some strats that you can do um, depending on your Rhyhorn stats uh, and some other factors that I can never remember. Um, but I don't expect either uh, runner to go for those in this run race. Um, so now Phoenix is going through the hallway of forever. Um, and also would be looking for a Jigglypuff outside, but it's not a big deal if it doesn't spawn. This EV is going to be 31 for J&J, or very close to it. Oh, oh Phoenix did tough. get the Jigglypuff. So yeah, that's that's real nice to have at this point. Um, actually ties them on their catch count. So we can definitely see that Fury does have a bit of a lead, but honestly, keeping it fairly close for Phoenix. Yeah, solid run for Phoenix so far. Definitely. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I can't tell pace at all, but surely oh, she's yeah. on PD pace here. I'm awful at pace, uh, knowing people's paces. But yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a PB pace. Oh, she's going for big rat too. Oh yeah, that's right, because she caught route two rat. Um, so this is actually a really good um, stop for hers to get both these catches. Uh, meanwhile, Fury is just double edging this fight. Uh, got Screech from the um, Voltorb. It can choose to go to, for Sonic Boom instead, um, which in this case wasn't dangerous, but um, would mean that... Uh, Fury would have to heal twice instead of being able to just top off with a single super potion. Um, the other nice thing about Phoenix getting these catches here um, is it's a little bit more XP for her Nitto King, and so it looks like it'll hit 28 pretty soon, um, which that mm -hmm. extra bit of damage could definitely help out in a couple fights in Hideout. Um, some of them can be ranges depending on your level in Nidoking King stats. So definitely could end up mattering. Uh, Phoenix sinking modest first, and then going to go teach Glitzy. Uh, and yep, so here's... Oh, I guess yeah, I was... I was incorrect, but also right. <laughs> so one Super Potion did not heal Fury to full, but he still did only go with one. Uh potion to heal up. You probably don't. It's probably fine if you're a little close. Yeah, well, the the thing is that you want to make sure you go into J&J &J at full HP, and so um, he's going for Glitzy here. So, I, okay, so it looks like he's just going to be fine entering J&J &J, uh, a little bit low. Or not low, but down. Yeah, um, 31 at, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and at level 31, I don't think that extra damage is going to matter at all. Because um, generally you'll enter this fight at, I mean, as low as 27. So uh, being 31 here is going to be a real strong situation for Fury. Uh, and then over on the right we have Nidoking strats in hideout, which is just a bunch of poison jabs. Um, so. uh, I, I'm not a fan of one seeing this with Nidoking. I, uh, in my, I, I did a run today and I got flinched three times. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's unfortunate. And uh, the no the notes, I don't know if it's the advanced notes, but like the beginner notes say to two see it if you have no King okay. in one and you just poison jab zippy zap with Pika. But I was like, you can two shot with poison jab, so surely it's bad. Surely that's faster. But of course, it flinched. <laughs> and that's two moves that can flinch you because Hyper Fang can do it too. And I was gonna, right. I, I think I got bite like, a couple times. Uh, Fury going ahead and grabbing the lift key. Uh, so then he can make his way over to J&J. &J. You are right there. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> have Eevee jump down on them. Yeah, really. A couple minutes. Kind of wish there were more of those uh, play as your partner Pokemon. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Situation. It's kind of where there's just one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Pokemon games tend to have that have a weird one-off mechanic, and then it never shows up anywhere else. Um, but yeah, so then Phoenix will also be doing the Hypno fight um, with Nidoking as well, so this will just be an X attack um, poison jab, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if that's guaranteed. It depends on your attack. Yeah, it depends on your attack, but then also if poison jab um, poisons. poisons, then... Yeah, yeah well, so good. she got it. That's good. Yep. So it's a better range than it looks, but uh, Phoenix got it no problem. Uh, Navy hitting 28 here uh, will not learn double edge um, because this is actually the last in the in the notes the hypno fight says don't learn double edge after this point so oh. <laughs> the exact point where you stop learning uh, double edge is where she ended up getting it um, but yeah so then we'll just be going through uh, the rest of these fights uh, as Fury starts J and J. Um, he might have a decent one-shot range on the Arbok. Yeah, with plus special attack, level 31. Yep, Easy. not a problem. That's really nice. Um, that, the Arbucks in both fights can be a bit of a problem. Um, it's not too bad here, but... Uh, you definitely like to see that one shot when you can get it. Uh, in addition to saving a turn, it's just helpful. Uh, unfortunately, did get poisoned by the wheezing. Um, but that also goes down in one hit, no problem. And should be able to enter Archer without having to heal. Yeah, just a tiny bit of HP lost, but not too bad. Yeah, that fight with, with PK, there's an option to use Rhyhorn as your sort of main battler, and Rhyhorn's slow, so very often you get double status. <laughs> you get, like, Rhyhorn poisoned and Nidoking King paralyzed. It's it's quite gross. Mm -hmm. And then for this final um, fight where you're really using Nidoking King on uh, Eevee, when you do this strat, um, is going to be a helping hand Glitzy Glow to... Guarantee the one shot on the cop or on the Grimer. Um, if your Eevee has really good special attack, um, this can be a natural one shot. Um, but with Helping Hand, it's absolutely not a problem. Uh, and then Fury is starting up Archer fight. Goes down, no problem. <laughs> that. That was the first turn, right? I wasn't paying attention. Because that's not normally a one-shot. <laughs> oh, there goes Rhyhorn. Um, but that... Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, because he had queued up a... Um, rocks throw to... A little gold bat on gold bat action here. <laughs> I mean, it might have been... Uh... A little more optimal to send out a uh, Pokemon that needs some uh, experience to evolve here, but not a huge deal. They're going to evolve. I mean, I'd be a little bit afraid of my Machop dying, to be honest. Because the Golbat, does the Golbat outspeed Eevee? I guess it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, then. which is kind of unfortunate because in, like, in this exact situation where Fury tried to heal up his Eevee so he could enter Giovanni without having to menu, but then the Golbat targeted Eevee anyway. Um, so now he has to menu again anyway. Okay, here's here's Geo. It's a pretty high level here for Fury. He's not got minus defense, so this should be fairly clean. Yeah, this is going to be not a problem. Um, you can go for a riskier version of this, which is just X attack double edge. Uh... 
which honestly Fury might be able to do. Um, but I expect the standard um, Sizzly times two fight. Yeah, this Persian's scary. Yeah, there's Sizzly slide. And still has plenty of health left and yeah, easy two shot. shot easily. Yep. So not a problem at all for Fury. Uh, thankfully, even when slash crits, it still does reduce damage from the burn. Um, so oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's actually fairly safe unless your EV has particularly bad defenses. Um, and then we come to Rhyhorn, where we just bouncy bubble and heal right back up. <laughs> Which, granted, we only have one more fight before it um, free heal, so healing off the Rhyhorn isn't that big of a deal, but still nice to have. Uh, and then Phoenix's uh, J and J starting up. Uh, she moved her Eevee into slot one. Nido King uh, was moved back to slot three, so we'll be doing um, the same version of the fight as Fury, um, just with. Uh, less levels in special attack, unfortunately. Um, but it still shouldn't be too bad. Oh, going for the Rhyhorn version, actually. Okay. So I'm not terribly familiar with this version of the fight, to be honest. Yeah, so you set up the X attack on... Uh... Ooh, both hits on Eevee. That's interesting. I'm used to seeing at least one of them on Rhyhorn. Unfortunately, misses the range on Arbok. Level, level 25, you're fairly likely to one-shot. Um, at plus two with drill run. Um, you can even do it with level 24 if you catch your right horn late, but that's a little unfortunate there that she missed the range. Yeah, I'm probably going to take one more hit from our buck. Yep. Uh, mm. But then Eevee will finish it off and unfortunately probably go down to Weezing here. Yeah. So I'm to Eevee, crit no. to, uh crit to put a little salt in the wound, unfortunately. This should be, this is a little slow, but fine, because Rhyhorn's the one who's doing the battling here, so you can yep. probably just helping hand drill run here. Yeah, so yeah. all worked out in the end. Uh, interestingly, f I just happened to see out of the corner of my eye as it updated on the tracker, uh, Fury has unplanned Ghastly, so he's not even interested in looking forward in tower. Oh, good. Well, We'll see if he sees one anyway. He might still go for it, but I'm I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not a fun catch. Yeah, it can be a little bit of a rough one. Looks like Phoenix got got through there, no problems with uh but she will have to heal up Eevee here for Archer. Yep. Um so a little bit of a lengthy healing menu here, but um got through just fine. The, uh, the only other thing here... Okay, so she just opt to do one super potion there. Um, otherwise, if she had actually healed up um, the rest of her Pokemon, the uh, healing situation for super potions could be... Yeah. ...have been a little bit on the sketchier side. To uh, run, burn through that mini this quickly. Here you're taking the bottom path. I take the top path there, usually. Um, yeah, there's three different approaches room. you can take to that floor. <laughs> and then the second, the next floor, he takes the, the lower path, which is a little bit faster. Oh, okay. So you were talking about that floor. Yeah, there's yeah, there's plenty of ways to get through. <laughs> there's two different ways on one floor and three on the next. But uh, I think everyone has a consensus for this floor, at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, Phoenix I, I getting... still do the slower version, because that's muscle memory. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Phoenix getting through uh, Archer's first Pokemon, and looks like HP is pretty good. Um, so, oh, there's the Krabby Evo. Um, I didn't see if she's already used two X specials or not. Um, I think so. Okay, so then if so... Ops not to go for a heal, um, which are the exact opposite of Fury. So Fury went for the heal and got punished for it. Phoenix didn't go for the heal and it would have been fine. 
<laughs> Alright, so we're gonna want to heal here for... Uh, we'll see what... Uh, I don't know if Phoenix has Graveler in the party still. I think she does, so she might be going boom here. Okay. I don't believe she does. Oh, um, she took it out, okay. Yeah, I, th I think she has um, Rhyhorn, Nidoking, and then two Pokemon she was evoing. Oh, Fury going for Tower Zubat. Okay. okay. <laughs> nope, not going oh, no. for Tower Zubat. It was just in the way. It just took the encounter. Yeah, he already had a Zubat, so... Um, but yeah, so now it's time for Phoenix's Geo fight, um, which is a little going to be a little bit sketchy uh, given the minus defense nature, um, because that slash can hurt pretty bad uh, even through the burn uh, when you're minus defense. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just hope for fake out turn one because that's a weaker move. Yeah, it, it almost, it generally will go for fake out turn one, but sometimes you do see slash, and then you're, and then you're like, okay, I just need to summon the second yeah. before the heal most of the time. Um, so Fury there uh, is vastly on screen, but chooses to ignore it, so not interested in dealing with that. Did go for slash turn one. That's like almost half health shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it takes... Ooh, boy. Okay. It's a good thing that didn't crit. Um, so let's see if she summons 2C now, decides to just heal. Um, and then we'll be fine after this, because yep. the um, slashes will do low to mid 20 damage um, once the burn has come through. Yep. Um, so able to get through the fight just fine. No problems here. Meanwhile, Fury's on J and J th or 3. Yeah, 3. <laughs> I lose count. There's too many J and J fights, there's too many rival fights. <laughs> um, this EV continues to get one shots. Um, oh, that's so good. Yeah, I uh, got paralyzed out of the deal, but still, you're not gonna argue with that. Yeah, for Pika, you're kind of bordering on two shotting each of these. <laughs> so, unless you get really lucky with the XP. In my yeah, meanwhile, in my... the uh, the EV notes just say, "Do not get unlucky." <laughs> Which in uh, my run today, did not do. I got Sludge Bomb crit from full and died oh, and no. on, on neutral special defense, mind you. I don't know. That had to have been a range. <laughs> so one thing that's interesting there is that Fury's Rhyhorn got knocked out uh, during the second turn. And so there actually wasn't any time loss there because of um, like having to send out a new Pokemon or anything. Um, but the Rhyhorn is going to stay knocked out, which means it's not going to be getting XP on the next catch section. Uh, so that's actually not bad at all. No. Uh, Phoenix going for the extra Ultra Balls. A uh, little bit of extra safety. Um, you can use those a bit earlier than you might otherwise if you didn't pick those up, which just means the uh, yeah. catches will be a little bit kinder. So for, for Pika version, there's a strat where you can take Growlithe out for uh, for that J&J &J fight in Tower, and then it dies. It just uses fodder in the uh, in the fight. And then you evolve it with a Fire Stone, and you can use Arcanine as a ride, but then it, again, because Arcanine's fainted, it doesn't gain experience. Yep. It's another so, nice little option. This is a uh, discount Pika XP. <laughs> Both runners in Celadon, but going in opposite directions here. Uh, Phoenix opting to lure for Tower, uh, so she will be looking for um, Ghastly and possibly Cubone. Cubone, yeah. Also going for the Great Balls as well. Yep, so plenty of extra catching safety here for Phoenix. Um, definitely won't uh, run out of Pokeballs now with the extra Ultras and extra uh, Greats. All right, will we see a shiny Snorlax? <laughs> I've already had one shiny this run, so let's, let's not get too greedy here. There wasn't there a run earlier that had yeah there was there was uh, a shiny Ekans and then a Doduo in the same <laughs> race. All right, just a standard boring vanilla Snorlax. <laughs> See, 
Phoenix uh, sees uh, a ghastly shortly here after the cutscene. Right, nothing in the grass above uh, where the Snorlax was. If, uh, I know a lot of runners, if they see a Pidgey there, they'll go for it. And if you see a Doduo as well, it's, it's nice to grab. But usually you need to want to see a couple things there before trying to catch stuff in that spot. Yeah, and that's especially nice if your catch Ooh, situation a is a little bit more desperate and Furies is fine. Um, that Ghastly was trying to pull Phoenix towards that spinner, but <laughs> thankfully... Uh, that didn't happen. I have chased the ghastly into a spinner before, unfortunately. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's a great that's a great uh, section there for Phoenix. Uh, switching to Ultra Balls and the ghastly uh, kind of stayed put, and uh, she went for the great catch, which is probably guaranteed, if not close to. So. Fury encountering an EV opts not to <laughs> catch it. You can go for Flareon. Get the Firestone. You could technically go for Flareon. <laughs> would be questionable <laughs> he's going for pidgeotto pidgeotto's not bad actually yeah especially if you nan have it yeah exactly uh doesn't decide to switch to ultras though for this so it's gonna at least start off this route with uh double great still Ooh, yeah. that's unfortunate. possibly punished for it unfortunately that one wasn't even on the circle so uh, unfortunately, even lower odds than the previous. Oh, but it okay. gets in, because percentages aren't consistent. <laughs> this kind of run Fury's having, it's, I'm not surprised that got in. <laughs> yeah, Eevee's level 33. That is not a normal level for your Eevee to hit. And there's yeah, Kingler as well. Yeah, these spinner, these rotators... Uh... Oh, Chloe Hunter. <laughs> Chloe Hunter. That's the uh, that's the true backup ride Pokemon. Oh, you can ride Hunter. Yeah, you can't ride Gengar. Interestingly enough, but you, what? yeah, you can ride Hunter. <laughs> oh, there's uh, Do Duo for Fury. Yep, and so let's see what else. He's Pony. getting a pony as well. And duck is what yeah. the other things that he's looking for here. Um, he currently does not have nine tails planned, and so he actually could take out um, either duck or coughing and get nine tails instead. Um, but we'll yeah. see if he decides to go for that or not. Yeah, especially if you if you see a pony but not a duck, uh, might be better just to just to leave rather than wait around. So. Yeah. And Gasly spawns on Phoenix uh, after she picked up the. Um, what is that? Is that... Ooh, oh, we'll I almost hit by another, another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Uh, that's I think Time it was a potion. Oh, there's a pony. Yep, there Fury. we go. Fury's catch situation is uh, pretty good now. Yep. Um, if he wants to, he can just leave. Still has not. Oh, okay. Ooh, he does, just missed the circle ultra. there. That's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, I think with Ultra Great, it's pretty good even if you miss yeah. the circle. Okay, we have Dynam in the chat saying uh, it's a fish. Okay. What's a fish? I missed it. So the question is, are we going to see the are we going to see the robotic duck this run? Oh, I missed that. Okay. Wait. No, we didn't see that. Oh, we could still. Sorry. I finally caught up with what we were talking about. <laughs> the, the, the best duck is Porygon. So you see Fury switching Ponyta to his ride, and he's going to give it a candy to turn it into Rapidash, because you cannot ride Ponyta. But uh, the Kingler is sticking around in the party for now, at least. Uh, as Phoenix enters J and J, Phoenix is twenty-eight here, twenty-nine. Okay. Yeah. So unfortunately, this one, uh, unless she gets some nice crits, um, won't go quite as nicely as Fury does. Fury's did, but um, they are targeting the. Oh, they targeted the Rhyhorn too. It was the last one where they didn't. Um, so this is actually a pretty good fight um, for. 
Phoenix still. Opting to heal Rhyhorn there. Just to continue to take Fury first take damage. Already has rat, doesn't he? Yeah, big rat. Oh right. He's doing the backwards uh backwards catching here. <laughs> okay. I have definitely done this before, getting a late, late oh, little I see. rat. Yep. Okay, so now he can definitely take off um coughing or duck and doesn't even need nine tails. Oh, that's why he kept Kingler in the party. Okay. I dig it. And there's the oh. duck. So, yep, so now the only catch that Fury needs after this will be Staryu. Wow. Yeah, you don't want coughing. <laughs> It's Coffee generally isn't too bad. Like, the catch is fine, it's just it floats around and so you have to nanab it. Yeah. Um, but the actual catch rate isn't bad. Yeah, it's just, yeah, the moving thing is the only issue. Oh, yeah, well, remember, you don't have to get coughing or tentacle. That's, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got Machoke as well, and it looks like Barowak. Yep. A couple catches. He's also got Pidgeot uh, planned as well. No Pidgey for Fury at all, though, either, <laughs> which is right. interesting. The, uh, the no Pidgey runs are always interesting. Uh, all right, so now Phoenix is emptying out her party, and we'll be heading over to um, the same route, so she can be going on her catch. Uh, and here it looks like she's going to be looking for um, Pony, Doduo, Duck, and Pidgey as well. Yeah, same same thing. Yep. She um, has the she option. Does... She can go to Pidgeot all the way from uh, Pidgey if, uh, if if need be as well. If uh, yeah. she doesn't see a duck or something. Yep. So, so she order. could do Pidgeot Nine Tails instead of Duck. Um, but currently doesn't even have Coughing planned either. So. Oh okay. Once again, very solid catch situation here. Yeah, both these runners having really solid runs so far. Nothing too much uh, going wrong. I guess uh, we did see Eevee faint on uh, on Phoenix's side, I think. But yeah, the only other thing I can think of is how long it, it took for Phoenix's Rhyhorn to show up. Which yeah, that was absolutely that's the biggest thing. completely out of your control. But uh, a little bit of a minor. Yeah, I definitely allowed game a bit more separation for for Fury here. But yep. both runners on really solid runs so far. Absolutely. And Fury deciding not to actually just hold down, which is 100% safe on that route. <laughs> I feel like you've said that before. <laughs> I have said that many times. Because that movement looks scary to me, and there is movement that is safe. That is less scary. Um, we'll see if Phoenix gets any spawns in the grass patch up top. Um, sees a Pidgey, decides not to go for it. Um, a single Pidgey by itself is probably not worth it to get, um, especially with the catch situation this good, um, and mm -hmm. how long it takes to cut down that bush. But gets onto the route without any issues. Uh, that trainer has two Psyducks, which <laughs> is not good if you hit them. Uh, Pidgey first, really solid start for Phoenix. Um, so she might end up doing uh, what we were talking about earlier and go for Pidgeot Ninetales and cut out something. Yep. Right, I'm just looking at, uh, at Fury's PB here to kind of see where he is on C Skim. 156.56 in this run. Yeah, pretty much right on, uh, right about even with PB in terms of time. C skim split for PB was 156.51. Okay. So definitely 310 pace here for Phoenix. Uh, you mean Fury? Oh, sorry, Fury. That's right. Yeah. And I mean, 42 C skim as well for Fury is really good. Yeah, he. The run he was comparing to had 42 as well. Okay. I don't know if what he had in his actual run. I'm just looking at his screenshot, but. Sure. Very solid time for uh, 
for Fury, at least like pace-wise, so. Uh, and then just hoping the star is good enough to carry it home. <laughs> yep. Uh, but Phoenix nice getting a Doduo, duo um, especially a glowing Doduo, duo will be... Oh, nice there's Tangela. Here. Don't catch Tangela. <laughs> <laughs> I did but that I've today. That, I've heard that Tangela fixes everything. It did. I needed a 50th, and I didn't want to go for Magmar, but... <laughs> Because I, uh, I'm not a fan 1047 of for Fury's star. Not yeah. the worst, but not amazing either. And gets the excellent, so that should be guaranteed. Alright, Fury is done catching. Yep. Real good situation to be in then. And uh, so far, Phoenix's spawns on this route have been pretty good. Um, already caught two of the four things, and uh, has barely moved down the route. Alright, we will uh, currently see Fury's stats. Oh, Psyduck there spawning for Phoenix, so pretty good cycling road so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only, uh, the only missing catch is the one that's Basically required, <laughs> unfortunately, um, which is unfortunately reminiscent of Phoenix's rock tunnel. Yeah. So hopefully the Where's pony that shows ride up. Mon? So hopefully the pony shows up a bit faster than the uh, uh, Rhyhorn decided to. All right, let's see the star use stats. Ooh, that's Ooh, special attack. That does not look good. That's not great. Speed is speed is fine, but yeah. Uh, Speed is acceptable, <laughs> but the special attack is definitely unfortunate. Uh, Phoenix still looking for her pony, unfortunately. Here, pony, pony. Yeah, no kidding. Another, another fish. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, Evie. Oh, or there's the pony. Okay. All right, there we go. Not, not terrible of a weight, but definitely. Uh, let's look at the special attack on Fury at uh, 109. Phoenix, unfortunately, having a bit of a Joy-Con moment. The uh, Pokeballs did not fly all the way to the Pokemon. <laughs> Just kind of hit the ground. But got in, nevertheless. Uh, which means that... Phoenix should be close to finished catches as well. I don't know yep, how much she is Star is the only one as well. So that's... That's actually crazy that both runners got all the way to, or got to see Skim, and the only thing they needed was um, Staryu. Yep. All right, Phoenix doing a little bit of party management here. Gonna bring in the pony, and uh, set it up as her ride Pokemon. Now Fury's on Ted. That is can be a fight, but with the duo in slot two, um, it's going to be safe because that will always bait out the Thunderbolt. Um, if you don't use a Pokemon like Doduo, that will just die to the Thunderbolt, um, and Ted decides to target your Starmie instead. It can go very poorly if he paralyzes you or crits. Yeah. Um, so especially in a race setting, I definitely can't fault anyone for uh, deciding to play it safe and just put a Doduo in slot 2. Um, the only real downside is that um, Fury will have to take a bad heal so that the Doduo can evolve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Phoenix likewise getting through the end of the route. Uh, trainers cannot really see you all that well. Uh, so, not a problem. Right, there's uh, Fury's, or yeah, Fury's Pidgeot. Oh, actually, Fury just marked Kingler, and I think he got it a while ago. Um, 
So Fury's catch count at Seaskin was even one higher than we thought. Yeah, his, his, yeah he just needs to evolve his Doe Duo and... Uh, what else? Oh yeah, Psyduck. Yep. As well as get the two freebies. Oh look at Chansey. <laughs> uh, unfortunately we cannot catch that one. It really wouldn't do us much good if we could. There's a coughing. Don't need that. And you can tell that Phoenix picked up the Helix Fossil because there's a Kabuto in the pond. Uh, nice ditto spawn for Fury. <laughs> Does not look at it because one, he doesn't need it, and two, you don't ever want ditto. Yeah, things of pain. Uh, Pika skips this max elixir, right? Uh, you can get it if you okay. uh, want to play safe. Okay. It's kind of a... Depending on what you how do you, you set up your menus, uh, you can get the ether before Bill, or you can get this, or you can get both if you want to play, play it a little bit safer. Sure. Okay, well, so then Phoenix is now heading to the star you catch. Um, so hopefully hers, well, frankly, turns out a little bit better than Fury's did. Um, as Fury starts Blaine's gym. Oh, unfortunate tentacle spawn on Phoenix. Ooh. Oh no, I'm not the uh, sub to etiquette anymore. I wanted to do the etiquette quiz time emote. <laughs> Alright, well, the cheer iron up everyone who has etiquette quiz time thrown <laughs> in chat. <laughs> There's and, Phoenix's uh, star. Let's see what we see. 1034, a tiny bit oh, lower no. than, <laughs> than Fury, Jeez. so uh, we'll There's see what we get. Stars. Joy-Con oh, moment, unfortunately. Get a home run there. That should still get in. Okay. Dynam is having the same situation as you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sheep. Theory uh, okay. successfully navigating the quiz and Phoenix navigating the route, dodging a bunch of. Yeah, a lot of Pokemon in her way, but uh, no issues getting to the Water Stone. Um, we'll see if Fury gets the legendary Confuse Ray skip. Uh, he should be faster than the Pokemon in this gym, so. Um, yeah. Oh, he does skip Confuse Ray and does not get burned. Did he get crit, though? It looks like he did. Phoenix's uh, star actually is not bad. Yeah, not terrible at all. A little like, bit lower speed, but a higher special attack. So. Yeah, it could definitely be better, but it could be a lot worse. Fury as expected at speeding Rapidash, so pretty good fight. Yeah, uh, optimal, I mean, other than the crit text, basically optimal uh, lane. Uh, okay, so then... Yeah, the only... So both runners are done with catches. Um, the only consideration that... Um, Phoenix has is to make sure that she deposits her Pidgeotto um, before it gets the chance to evolve into a Pidgeot. But I don't. There's plenty of menus between now and then where so that's not going to be a problem. 116 special attack on Starmie for her Phoenix. 119 speed. So with Maybe. that speed, also um, Blaine's gym won't be a problem. It's Starmie's speed is like you want to be at least okay, and then it doesn't matter unless it's amazing. So both of these speeds are the normal acceptable range. Um, so it's just coming down to how good their special attack is. 
Phoenix stepping on a ratata. I think the rat stepped on her, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Uh, now that the lure has worn off, hopefully that won't happen again. Uh, as Fury goes to the fourth gym, uh, Lieutenant Surge. Because uh, that's that's the normal order, I believe. Oh, left uh, side, left side gym. I've seen a lot of people do that. I think you are the only person that does right. Oh. I, I don't think I've seen anyone else go on that. <laughs> also, does I don't know if everybody does the pans in that order. That one is but... pretty split on which people go for. Um, Phoenix also opted to do t uh, Ted with Doduo in slot two, so it should be a similarly safe fight to um, Furies. Um, but yes, yeah, so now Fury was just going to be doing a couple gyms. Um, should just be one shots all around, so pretty safe and straightforward. Uh, almost 10 minutes for uh, Fury upcoming. Pidgey's entering the battle, is going to evolve here. Pidgey's helping out. Down goes Raichu, so Fury is done with another gym. Um, we'll see if he teaches Thunderbolts, or teaches Thunderbolt. Uh, we had one forgotten Thunderbolt uh, <laughs> earlier today, and one in the previous round. Uh, so, definitely not impossible, but it's uh, certainly recoverable. So, Phoenix making her way through, does not use a Fire Stone. Uh, we'll just go ahead and um, bed heal in just a minute. Um, Fury healing up to full. Um, expert dodge of that Rattata. There's, there's a Magmar there as well. And a Weezing. All right, Fury's heading off to Celadon. Which uh, which cute Pokemon is he, is Fury gonna present to the? I'm going to assume Starmie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think anyone has offered a cute Pokemon other than Starmie. <laughs> Yep, there it is. It's super cute, apparently. And another ditto. Alright, so Phoenix escape rubbing out, heading over to Blaine's gym. Uh, time for some more edit quiz times if you got them. <laughs> As, uh, like I said, these two just work on getting through the gym rush. Will we see uh, Phoenix here choose an answer for the last question that's not the first? Also, what is she going to pick for the fourth question? That is true. <laughs> there's so much. Uh, there's so much room for self-expression in this run. Can you, <laughs> can you input up to go down? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay, so you can definitely still pick the. What's that? Yep. Which I did in my last run. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. In fact, we, I think we've had quite a few what's that. Oh, she oh, does it. There we one. go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, and she Ooh. picked the second one. She has to be listening. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Phoenix is choosing. All right, I want Team Phoenix. Now I want Phoenix to win. Yep. 
Uh, let's no, we see have if... to be impartial. We have to be impartial. <laughs> the number of non-impartial uh, <laughs> commentaries we've had so far. <laughs> I don't know if that's a strict rule. Um, but let's see if Phoenix uh, is able to match Fury's feet and uh, skip Confuse right here. Oh, Unfortunately okay. not. So, wastes one turn. Uh, not the end of the world by any means. Pretty standard uh, to get confused here, so. Yeah. Oh, oh the burn. Oh, I'm the burn. That's really unfortunate. Status lag and extra text. Ugh. Yeah. Um, since she is faster than the Pokemon, uh, the burn isn't dangerous. It's just going to waste time, unfortunately. Uh, Fury's Doduo is evolving just in time in order to use it on the blue fight. Um, there are three different approaches you can take to the blue flight fight. Um, one of them is not possible for either runner because they did not catch Magmar. Um, but you can either use Dodrio, Rapidash, or Magmar to take out Blue's uh, first Pokemon because that Executor is the only Pokemon in the run that Starmie is unequipped to handle. Um, but we've, we've actually seen quite a bit uh, from all three uh, approaches throughout the tournament, and in fact we've had at least one race where each runner used a different Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, so it looked like, um, I think, Fe I don't know if it was Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix has a couple X attacks left, so she'll be able to do uh, Dodrio. Yeah, I believe Fury does, has at yeah. least one left as well. Um, for Phoenix, it's just going to come down to if her do duo evolves in time or not. Yeah, the, the Doduo can still do the fight, it's just, I don't know if anyone's ever calculated this out, and you never really are in a position to check Doduo's stats. So in but... my in my round one race that I had commentary for, um... We were talking about this, and Amber said it's uh, not a bad range at all with Doduo. And then we looked at it, or someone did, it is not a good range with Doduo. Because, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the Doduo is modest, and it has, well, it'll have a random IV, but I'm sure. No spawns there at all on that grass. I'm used to seeing Growlithe's, like, running out to intercept me. <laughs> yeah, Growlithe's, uh, Will definitely be active a lot more active than Volpix. So that uh that route is a bit more of a hazard on Pika than Eevee. And no Porygon, unfortunately. No Porygons yet. Yeah, that's true. The uh my favorite is getting like two Arcanines. <laughs> <laughs> Just like massive two massive dogs. Covering the screen. Uh, let's, see right, which, uh, let's see which Root Phoenix takes in uh, Vermilion Gym. This is very important. Uh, this is important to you. Like, I don't know if this is important <laughs> to anyone else. <laughs> I must know. And Phoenix also taking the left side. Yep. Also cutting, cutting that the corner cannons. there. Yep. And do also doing the lower can first. Yep. My mind is blown right now. <laughs> All these new approaches. But successfully avoiding the, the gaze of that one trainer who can see you. And avoiding accidentally talking to the other one. Yeah. Uh, sure that's both, been done. I've definitely talked to the lower one. I don't remember if I've ever been seen by the left one. I've been seen by the left one quite a lot. I don't think I've ever talked to the lower one, though. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> um, so here's Fury's blue fight. Um, Dodrio should still be in slot three, so yep. two. Uh, so it'll be a nice, easy uh, one shot with uh, drill pack. Oh, lots of X attacks left. locked. Oh yeah, because uh, Fury had um, double edge. Double edge, so uh, not need to X attack as much as you might otherwise. Uh, and then here it's just going to be an X special scald. Yeah. yeah Fury's a special attack is not good enough to just skip the X item. You need 100. Well. You need like 124 special attack to guarantee. Okay, that's uh, guarantee the really kill. high for this point. <laughs> I've never actually yeah. looked at that range. A bit of a tracker moment, and it's back. <laughs> but thankfully, <laughs> we don't really need to look at the trackers too much at this point. 
Yeah, you're already um, with just the two freebies left, and then Phoenix a couple more evolutions plus the two freebies. Yep. But and coming Phoenix... up here, we're on to the most, I don't know, the worst run, most content run, or not run, fight. <laughs> One of the most dreaded fights, for sure. One of the fights, yeah. <laughs> also that. <laughs> Phoenix opting to very candy the Doduo to force it to um, well, Evo to make sure that she has it for blue. If you have an extra candy, why not? Yep. Better than Rapid Ash Fire Blast. <laughs> for sure. Uh, all right, so now let's see how the turn one of Archer goes. There's a number of openings, and okay, that's... okay. Self destruct protect is okay. This is actually the one that I think I'm the least familiar with. Also, coincidentally, the one that I got in my race. I see that one quite a bit. Quite a lot of double battle lag going here. Yep. Uh, Muck goes down, no problem. Let's see what the Weezing decides to do. Dark Pulse into Starmie. Um, but HP is still in a pretty solid situation, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, so he'll go for the Weezing here, I'm sure. Yep. Uh, because Weezing is on the field, the Cubone should go for Boomerang. And, uh, it's a two. Sh it's a if guaranteed, if not close to guaranteed, two. Uh, nope, Wolverine. you're going for Focus Synergy. Ooh, okay. That's, uh... But that's actually good. It, no, wait, it doesn't matter now. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking there was Cubone had two more turns, but nope. Uh, so this will be a... Yeah, this is a five turn. Ooh, actually. Crit Sucker Punch. It's going to probably six, be a heal here. Six turn. <laughs> Unless uh, Cubone brings it home on the next turn, which actually probably happen, will. Yeah, with the heal. Yeah, because it's guaranteed to um, to attack here because it's already used focus energy. Um, and unless Bone Meringue misses, then we're good to go. Yep. And Radicate using quick attack there. <laughs> uh, this Radicate only knows priority moves. It's only moves oh, for punch and quick attack. <laughs> At least it doesn't have, well... We're not using a physical bond, but it doesn't have baby doll eyes. <laughs> um, Phoenix, currently in the Erica's gym, also opted to show Starmie as the cute Pokemon. Uh, no yep. other cute Pokemon exist, according to Let's Go Runners. <laughs> yeah, a couple more fights here in Zilf. Both of them very straightforward. Fury uh, is uh, doing teleporter pads ag entrances, um, which are always a little interesting because if you enter directly from the side, or I think diagonals are equally valid, um, then your character will just walk right to the center. Yeah. But if you step somewhat offset, you will somewhat stutter step, um, which actually loses more time than you might think. Um, and now it's the final J and J fight, which is definitely the easiest of them. Um, basically, can't go wrong. Um, yeah, one thing I guess is that you want the uh, the wheezing to target Dodrio here, right? You can save a and, bit of time not healing. Yeah, yeah, it's not even a big deal really if it does target it it's because. I guess you paralysis the extra is the one bad thing, but yeah. Oh yeah, if you get Thunderbolt pra paralyzed, yeah. Okay, Thunderbolt well, we're good. Real good situation. Uh, Phoenix like... just evolved Duck, um, so now she only needs her uh, freebies as well to finish out the fifty. Stuff. And yeah, this Giovanni fight here is uh, 
very easy as well. Yeah. Yep, once again, um, he's going to lead with his Persian, which will go for a fake it out, which, once again, we can just set up. And uh, but then Starmie has an even easier time than uh, Eevee did in that put into that exact same situation. Phoenix saw uh, a fox party on the route <laughs> heading into uh, Saffron. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Got it eventually. <laughs> All right, and so then uh, because Phoenix uh, rare candied the Doduo, um, she's definitely going to be using that for the blue fight, which means that um, just like Furies was, it's going to be guaranteed to get through there. Yeah, I don't know what her uh, her special attack is here, but I think she still probably wants to use the X item on Starmie. I would definitely expect it. Yeah, I think she had like one nineteen special attack at forty six, so. Probably still possible to KO with Scald, but definitely better just to go for the safe play. Mm -hmm. You can Hydro Pump if you want, but <laughs> who wants Hydro to do Pump that? is always an option. <laughs> I can call it a recommended option, but it is there. All right, so here's the real question, Iron. Uh, which direction are they going to talk to the Lapras guy from? Ooh, are we going to see any uh, beh from behind Lapras trainers? Hmm. I think I did that in one of my races. <laughs> <laughs> I also did. <laughs> it's kind of finicky from behind. I think you have to be in a specific spot. So, uh, One thing you could, I guess... Possibly do. I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure if Dodrio outspeeds Charizard, but you might be able to just drill peck and scald. That is a good point. Um, I would guess no, because otherwise I feel like that would be somewhat standard. Yeah. We did get yeah, the, they're the same. They're the same level. level. But Charizard Dodrio is, is not nearly as fast as it should be. Both yeah. moving around and stat wise. Oh, I didn't see what, how Fury talked to the Lapras trainer. Uh, from the side. Oh, okay. Probably grab the rare candy as well. Uh, nice little uh, pick up Phoenix, there. Uh, remember to teach Thunderbolt. Uh, oh. <laughs> must have noticed during the fight that Starmie was missing the move. Um, but. Thankfully, notice now as opposed to on Sabrina. Yeah. No, Drew will never outspeed Charizard. Okay. Thank you, Dino. So. I wonder if you run, if you use Rapidash. Rapidash is fast. Good speed tie with a speed AD. Yeah, then you then you, then you kind of want to have like 31 IV. <laughs> yeah. Like, a bit too much to ask for. But I feel like Rapidash with Stomp could do it, but then you have to use Fire Blast on Executor, and who wants to do that? Alright, so time for choice. Phoenix's Archer fight. Oh, yep, yeah, while uh, Fury's shopping. Fury did buy X Special Defense, so he could go for 1C fights in E4. Does buy the X Defense. Thunderbolt, so... okay. But no protect. Thunderbolt, no protect. I honestly don't dislike this opening. It's not too bad because you get Bone Ring and Electrode, and then. Most of the time, Electro booms on turn two. And then if it booms, then Cubone will likely Bone Meringue and hit into Eradicate. No Trio is faster than Rapid Ash. Oh, damn. damn. Okay, good. All right, this is looking really good for Phoenix here. Yeah. He yep, finishes the right here. Ring. That is that is excellent. Yeah, really good. Uh, four turn. There's only one thing that could lose a bit of time here. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I 
But uh, now it's just a one. It's like a it's a two v one effectively because yep. the grunt only has two mods. Yeah, so it's it's still a four turn, but it's a fast four turn because you're not dealing with uh, eradicate doing things. Okay, no protect from Weezing. Excellent. Very good fight. Fury is... Alright, I've never seen someone do that on that... <laughs> <laughs> on that section. I kind of <laughs> like it. <laughs> it's definitely not something I would do, but... Uh, I know I would mess it up, but it did look cool. That uh, was a good, good fight there. Yeah. Yep. Definitely a good archer for Phoenix. Um, and then the next couple fights, as we saw on Fury side, they're pretty easy to just hit through. Um, let's see how Fury Sabrina goes. Okay, not much of a wait there for her, uh, Phoenix for the spinner. Will we get the very legendary? No, we do not. We do not get Standard the very legendary. <laughs> The fabled light screen skip, I should say. Yeah. It seems like it's almost impossible to get, but people have gotten it. All right. Okay. No uh, special Fury. defense drops. Yeah. Fury, no. Nice. That's really the only thing that can go wrong in this fight, is giving the special defense drops, or this if your star is really bad okay. and you don't two shot the Mister Mine. Yeah. We saw. I think it was. Um, I don't know, I can't remember who. They got, like, two special defense drops into the crit. Oh, no. I think that was, um... I don't remember who it was. Was it Rigby? Yeah, I was, uh, that was not a good Sabrina. Well, luckily that did not repeat here, and Fury is getting through no problem. Also, we need Thunderbolt for the Slowbro in this fight. Um, if you uh, don't have that, it's interesting. <laughs> and uh, there goes uh, Phoenix's J and J. Uh, gets to heal on the second turn. Um, Star must have taken a Thunderbolt, but it didn't paralyze, so uh, no real issues there. No. Okay, so Fury will be doing a quick menu here after Sabrina, and then off to uh, his favorite fight in the run. <laughs> yes, Fury is uh, somewhat known for interesting <laughs> Cadence, but hopefully we don't see that today. Yeah, like the Cadence that I put, put that clip that, uh, that I, that, I don't know if it was Dynam clipped it, but uh, from one of my runs that was posted in the Discord, we thought that one was bad. And Fury said, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, a little party management here. We want to just keep Rapidash for our ride, and that's pretty much it. And then uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, menu management as well. Get our X items in good spots. Uh, it's like, what, 117 special yeah, attack at level 49? Uh, could definitely be better, but it's acceptable. Um, decides to not elixir uh, right away, which is um, the if I remember correctly, the EV notes actually say to elixir here, but most people seem to prefer to delay it, which I can definitely appreciate, especially in a uh, race situation. Yeah, because the amount of psychics you've used to this point isn't a huge amount, so you can definitely. Uh... Unfortunately, I think uh, I think Fury's special attack isn't quite enough that he can scald on. Yeah, Koga. he's gonna have to be psychic in just about everything. <laughs> um, we have. We should have done a prediction in chat. <laughs> on how many turns the Caden is gonna be? <laughs> uh, Fury does not get imagine, kicked. I can't imagine fourteen turns. Yeah, how how does how do fourteen you... turns even happen? He must have like fainted and revived. 
or use the elixir in battle because <laughs> you run the same things. All right, here we go. Let's bless up in chat for Fury here. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Phoenix has finished all of the fights in uh, Sylph. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get uh, Lapras. Yeah, let's see. Opting to get the candy first. Oh, no. That's not a good lead off of uh, Caden here. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's fine. Fury was having flashbacks there, but uh, <laughs> got through. <laughs> yeah, that thing is minimized. It's quite bad. Don't want to see that. Okay, well, you get to protect from Beedrill as well, so. Yeah, that muck is, that's moveset is just mean. <laughs> With uh, protect, toxic, minimize, and moonblast for some reason. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird one. It's maybe a, uh, well, actually, that's not true. Wait, does, is there a regional variant that's part fairy, or is that just nope. wheezing? Like, if it was a, if it was a wheezing with moonblast, that would be an interesting sort of precursor to sword and shield, but... Or Shadow. <laughs> see Phoenix uh, going to do her shop, and uh, Fury starting Koga. Koga is a, uh, is also a protect troll, so unfortunately Fury's gonna have to psychic. I think everything here could Hydro Pump. I think on a couple of them, but uh, again, probably not the best. Probably position. won't opt for that. <laughs> this uh, this fight is bad enough when you move use moves that always hit. <laughs> uh, Phoenix not opting to buy X Defense or X Special Defense, um, so she is locked into two controller, Geo Lance and Champ. That's totally reasonable. In a, in a race. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, you can scald the gold bat though. The one thing you can't do. Okay, that was actually a, looked like a pretty good Koga. I don't know if he got protected at all. Maybe maybe one. I was, I was looking at the shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it definitely seemed like a fast Koga. Um, the Caden wasn't amazing, but Koga seemed good. You see there an example of the little stutter step on the uh, teleport tiles. Not a huge deal breaker, but definitely uh, definitely can be a bit annoying if you miss a bunch of them in a row. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fury is uh, getting rid of those nasty teeth that he's been holding on for the entire COVID gym. That's wow. the real benefit of uh, late teeth, is you don't have to carry them around us for as long. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, It might not be time saved, but think of the mental uh, weight <laughs> that's reduced. Like, they, do, they don't even give them to you in a little, little Ziploc bag or something like that. Just... <laughs> they just shove them at you. <laughs> they were thrust upon you, is what the text says. Yeah. All right, so Fury's right. going to use his elixir now. Yep. Luckily, As didn't have to worry about PP management or PP issues in the gym, and he's going to use a repel and then fly over to Viridian. Yep, and then Phoenix is entering Sabrina. Um, light screen, standard fight. Yeah, so Phoenix has a better special attack, so she shouldn't have to worry too much about uh, potentially missing a the two-shot range on Mr. Mime here. Oh, and gets the burn for gets a good measure. But... I was I was thinking the only thing I can go bad at this point is if you ex if you crit the Mr. Mime. I had not considered the burn. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there goes the light screen, so the rest of the fight is 
uh, not a problem. Oh yeah, so Spider, do you want to talk? Do you want to talk to, to t and tell everyone in chat about your observation about Professor Oak's hair? <laughs> it's a uh, it's a flat <laughs> plane. There's no <laughs> texture on the top of his head. Uh, you can't really see it from this angle, but uh. <laughs> Like someone took a machete and just cut his hair. Right. Across the top. <laughs> He's got like those two little tufts. Um, but otherwise it's it's completely flat up there. Thank you for prompting me to inform <laughs> everyone else about this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, we have... Was that a 122 special attack? Um... Not sure, but she's gonna candy anyway, so we'll yep. see the stats of 49. But uh, looks looking pretty clean so far for uh, the gym rush for Phoenix. Yep, absolutely. Uh, as we'll Fury see. heads to the last gym. So we'll see for for Giovanni's gym here. There's a couple options. You can two C a couple fights. You can opt to one C them uh, if you want. I would be surprised if either runner one C to any of these two fights here. Uh, Phoenix definitely won't be because she doesn't have the uh, the X items for it. But we'll see if <laughs> Fury. Like two. But Fury's on pretty decent pace here, so he can opt to just play safe, I think, and he's got... Uh... I'm not sure what his pace is looking like now, but before, earlier in the run, he was on pace to be the top uh, lower bracket uh, placement run at the time, I guess, so... Yeah, I think he's uh, definitely in a good situation where you can take the safer strats and still be in a really good spot. And then the special attack is 124. Um, could be better, but honestly not awful. And then I believe Phoenix is a late teeth enjoyer. Um, okay, correct good. option. <laughs> Objectively correct. <laughs> yep, and Fury does decide to go to... Oh! Did go for early teeth. Okay. Um, but yeah, Fury even decided to two see this. Uh, Definitely not a bad idea. Yep. Uh, this Nido King can and will Megahorn you. Um, and although even though Megahorn's not 100% accurate, it always hits. So there actually was a run recently. I don't remember if it was a race or just someone's PB attempt, but. They went for the one C. They missed Hydro Pump, and then Nido King missed Megahorn. <laughs> Always fun when that happens. All right, so Phoenix about to uh, start up Caden, and also hit the fifty Pokemon, no problem. Yep, did not get kicked. And then Fury is on to Geo as Phoenix starts up Caden. And let's see what this muff decides to do. Turn one. Hopefully protect. <laughs> yep. Nice. Okay, good. Um, like Fury, uh, Phoenix also delayed the elixir. Um, so... Uh, especially with a strong start to Kaden, um, her PP is going to be just fine as well. Um, Fury did decide to go for the two C Giovanni as well. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely good, good strat here. Yeah, it's really not that much slower and significantly safer than uh, going yeah. for the one C. Oh. Oh. No! Nope, nope. You were in the, the right, right spot. Way. You were going. Nope, okay. I have some okay, minor issues with this gym, too, in terms of <laughs> moving around. Figuring out where that the first opening mostly at the very top is where I have the most difficulty. But yeah, so Fury is the rap Rapid Ash fainted as expected, and uh, now it's effectively a, um, a sort of pseudo one on one. There is still double battle lag, but nice and easy to just sweep through here.
Alright, so then, uh, Koga time. Uh, exact same situation. Hopefully we see Protect on turn 1. 120 um, special attack on Fury at 50. Oof. Ooh, Toxic that's turn one. Not, not the best start there. Yeah. Um, but luckily, this one doesn't really have anything else to troll you. Um, yeah, and it goes for protect and then... basically always goes for protect after a Toxic. So uh, it's really not that much slower to see that. Yes, yeah, so the best fight on Koga is if you get Explosion turn one, as long as you don't have bad defense and it crits. <laughs> But, uh, I've I've never seen explosion from the wheezing. I've seen it a couple times. It's really good. Uh, you do have to heal after, but right. Phoenix is seeing a number of uh, protects though still here, unfortunately. Um, one from both the Venomoth and the Golbat. And yeah, the Phoenix appears to be ahead of PB here. Oh, nice. Uh, before we started up the up Phoenix, runs... um, Phoenix oh. probably is as well, but I'm okay. at Fury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure that Phoenix probably is as well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, before the run, we were talking. Phoenix did say that her uh, goal for the race was to just get a PB, and so. Uh, I think that'll work out for her. She's probably about seven minutes behind Fury or so. So... Maybe a little bit less. And Fury's on like 310 pace, so yeah. Okay, nice. Looks pretty solid. Alright, so uh, Fury's uh, rival fight. Uh, this one really can't go bad. Um, unless you forget to X speed on turn two. Yeah, and both these stars have good speed, so no need to worry about the Pidgeot outspeeding, which is uh, yep. always a sad time. And then the only other piece then is the if your star is really good, then you can outspeed the Raichu and skip the X speed. Oh, yeah, another another little EV benefit there. Yep. But neither of them are going to be in that situation. Uh, their speeds were good, but not that good. Um, but yeah, so then Fury is just going to be psychicking through uh, the rest of this, um, while Phoenix heads over to uh, Cutscene Town, I guess. I was going to say Giovanni's Gym, but there's a little bit to happen first. Yep. Down goes the Raichu, and so then uh, really both of them are going to be in a bit of downtime as Fury does badge checks and Phoenix mashes through cutscenes. Um, just so we have something to talk about, I was reviewing catch routes, and Phoenix's actually wasn't that weird. Fury's definitely has a few weird points to it. Yeah. No Pidgey. All of the big pink blobs. Yep. Uh, but Except for Fable like, without double moves. No Jigglypuff, down. though. <laughs> yeah, no Jigglypuff. <laughs> and then, like, it was it was Route 10 Big Rat, and then Route 17 Small Rat. Which is a bit different, but uh, worked out. Okay, so then Fury is now coming up to Victory Road, um, where there's a couple fights that can go in interesting ways. Um, the first one is almost completely, the, the weirdness is almost completely negated by 2C, uh, and I definitely expect both runners to do that without any thought, um, just because 
the one C version of the fight is extremely risky, and with their special attacks, the risk wouldn't even pay off. Um, yeah. Yeah, this Kangas God is. Uh... Yeah, there we go. There's the two C. As Phoenix starts up the first trainer in Giovanni's gym. Let's see how the first hydro pump uh, goes. It's it's the range too. Nice. Yes. Uh, and then Phoenix will be doing uh, a 2C summon to avoid using a Hydro Pump. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting how in like the 80% with, with Mount Skips, you actually skip Hydro Pump altogether because, well, two of the fights you, you generally use it on are in Victory Road. Mm -hmm. So you don't even need it at all. You do lose against a bit of flexibility on on Lorelei, but just skipping those trainers is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the second trainer in Victory Road um, can be a bit of a troll in putting you to sleep, but ultimately is not dangerous, just will lose a little bit of time. Second trainer or third trainer? Third trainer can do it too. Uh, the third trainer can be a little bit dangerous, I'd even say. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the Jinx, but yeah, the little hippie can definitely be annoying. Okay, I decided headbutt. to just go for headbutt, though, so that's fine. Um, you can go for... Oh, oh there it is, turn two. <laughs> um, you can choose to go for Thunderbolt on the Hypno if you have a good special attack. Um, but Fury's going for Scald for the guaranteed two-shot. And Phoenix summoning second player for Giovanni. Yep, as expected, especially without the uh, X-Defend. Um, and hopefully she gets the same situation where um, the Earthquake from Doug Trio knocks out uh, Rapidash. And there's, well. no, there's no power of love. Yeah. Or Path of Legends, as some people call it. <laughs> no Path of Legends is here. <laughs> you got the... Uh, a classic copy pasta in the chat. A Phoenix you, fan. Sandy. Let's see... Earthquake... Rapidash dies, good to go. Uh, so now the rest of the fight is same as Fury Saw, just a Scald Sweep to bring it home. Um, the other nice thing about this um, version of the fight where it doesn't really slow you down to do the 2C version is um, you have to, you generally have to menu after this fight if you 1C anyway, because a lot of times um, the Earthquakes from Doug Trio... Okay, skip is fine. Um, yeah. Most of the time the Doug Trio Earthquakes will knock you into quick attack range on the Pidgeot, so either way you're doing a heal after this menu, or after this fight. Yeah, the only I think the only situation where you would not have to heal is if the Doug Trio were to go for Slash or something at yeah. one of the turns. And then you're, uh, you're good, good HP for a rival. Um, here's the aforementioned Jinx, which has been a scourge of this round, um, <laughs> including my run. <laughs> uh, and there it is, Lovely Kiss turn one. Ice In... Beam, okay. no freeze. And okay, the Hydro okay. Pump hits. Okay. Oh, Not... oh, you missed the oh, range! missed the range! No way! Okay. <laughs> At least nothing, <laughs> oh, nothing more happened. <laughs> this we Jinx were like, ah, oh, it's fine. And then it, it was not fine. Oh, man. Okay, well, so... What? Still could have been a lot worse. 
120 special attack. I don't think I have it in the note. Oh yeah, 128 it's guaranteed, so yeah, it's it's definitely range. I don't have the exact range, but... Alright, Phoenix reviving Rapidash now, and then we'll be heading into the rival fight. Um, with this star, there really won't be any issues. Fury wisely healing, because uh, otherwise you can get power whipped by the Lickitung on the next fight and uh, have a bad time. Yeah, fortunately his um, his special attack's not quite good enough to, I think, to scald the uh, Lickitung. Sure. Which saves a super effective uh, uh, that would hit save... on Bruno. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. the Onyx. Saves the Psychic, which then later saves the super effective. And possibly a turnaround if you're getting turnarounds on Bruno. Um, but I don't think Fury will. No. He yeah. just did st standard EXP route on the Sturmy and nothing too crazy. Yeah, Phoenix should also not get turnarounds on Bruno. Uh, and then Phoenix's rival fight, once again, as long as the X special comes through on this turn, uh, then it's a clean fight. Or er, X-Speed. Haha. <laughs> I said it wrong. Uh, and then... Yep, cleaning that up. Um, let's see if the Power Whip connects, or if it even goes for it. Yep, Power Whip hits. Ooh, crit. So that's gonna require another heal after this, uh... After this fight. Yeah. Um, we'll see if... I'm guessing Fury is gonna pick up the full restore. Um, and not opt for the, uh, 2C Agatha. But... There is always a chance. All right, yeah. I've never done 2C Agatha just because, yeah, you have to take out Dodrio usually. So yeah. the the only time or the the very first time I did 2C Agatha was in my round one race. I I had copied it into my notes so I knew how it worked, but I had never actually done it in a run, and I was like, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's just give this a try. Always fun doing something for the first time in like a somewhat high pressure situation. <laughs> I have Phoenix doing the badge checks and Fury about to enter the Pokemon League. So we'll see if um, it's, it's very likely that Fury will take the at very least take the Rapid Ash in and mm -hmm. uh, may see some two controller fights here. But the first two won't be two controller, and then we'll see about Agatha, and then the champ and the and Lance possibly. Yeah, since he does need to heal here, if he is going to deposit Rapidash, he'll do it right away. Yeah. Um. So we'll get a little bit of insight into what his plans are on this menu. And yep, holding onto the Rapidash. So good play. Uh, even if he isn't going for the uh, two C fights. Um, has the extra safety net of having another Pokemon uh, in your party. Yuri once again uh, playing slots, <laughs> hoping for hoping for a good Elite Four here. Um, with this special attack, Yuri will definitely be going up to plus six on the lower life fight. Uh, with very good special attack, you can go to just plus four. And yep, Phoenix going for the 2C here as expected. Did one of those waterfalls crit? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Seems like a lot of damage. Oh, I guess, that, I guess that's pretty standard. I, I mean, it's entirely possible that the defense stat is just non-existent, given uh, <laughs> the CP of these two stars. That's true. Uh, Hydro Pump hits, but misses the range. Um, luckily, 
Phoenix is still above half HP, so even if it goes for a Sucker Punch, uh, it would be fine, and uh, the Kangaskhan did not choose the move. Okay. Good. Uh, but yep, so just standard sweep here for Fury on Lorelei. Uh, and then Bruno is going to be an even more straightforward fight. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Spider, I, I uh, accidentally uh, no worries. did something weird here. Um, I'll just go off the regular stream in the meantime. Yeah. A little bit more delay, but... Yeah, so unfortunately, the, the restream was a bit laggy for Spider, so I'm restreaming the restream to him. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it doesn't make sense, I know. But uh, I'm going to load that up again now. Oh, Phoenix has been typing in the race chat, and neither of us noticed. Um, let's see, that was 15 minutes ago. Uh, looks like she was four minutes ahead. So, very okay. solid run. Okay, the restream is now working for me, actually, so you don't need to worry about okay. resetting it up. Okay, I lied. It's lagging <laughs> for me. I don't know what's wrong with my connection specifically. Okay, so uh, looks like got Stealth Rock from Onyx, uh, which is uh, usually the case when you have Rapid Ash in the back because uh, it tries to set up an entry hazard. Uh, because of that, we're not going to have a chance at seeing uh, everyone's favorite move, which is Faint, or <laughs> I should say Randall's favorite move. I don't think it's actually Randall's favorite move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that with a bit of, uh, a bit of sarcasm here. but. <laughs> I think he uh, has some feelings about Faint, but I don't think Faint <laughs> is the correct one. Okay, so as expected, no turnarounds on Bruno, and uh, we're on to Agatha. Yeah, I think I think Gavin is uh, correct in the chat that Randall's favorite move is actually Hydro Pump. Oh, <laughs> that's good. All right, so then Agatha saving can't argue with that, and going in with one C. Good Alexa skip. And a very safe uh, talk to Caroline. <laughs> as we've uh, as we found out, that's <laughs> oh turn one power of love or path of legends. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I think I'll, I think I'll stop. <laughs> <We'll see that laughs> but that means that uh, we're gonna have to see X speed on the Weezing. Shouldn't be too big of a problem here. Knock on wood. Can be a little bit of risky, but not too bad generally. Okay, that's totally fine. Yep. Can get paralyzed there by uh, by Thunderbolt, but you can also get defense dropped by Crunch on Arbok, which is also quite bad. So. No Hydro Pumps on Agatha, as expected. Here on pretty good pace here, no need to try to save a few seconds. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is a really strong run from Fury, and also for Phoenix. Yes, both runners having great runs. Um, Phoenix is very close to wrapping up Victory Road. Yeah, it looks like Phoenix is about, yeah, I think he mentioned four minutes ahead. Um, about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and really, I can't think of much of anything that's gone wrong since then. So, no. Nope. Still definitely on very solid pace. Uh, Fury entering Lance. Very important venue here. You want to be make sure you use that max elixir. I think Kid Rocker had a, a, a run where he didn't have, he just didn't have it. Oh no! And he had to do some weird stuff here, probably requiring a lot of super effective moves. But okay, so we'll see if he does the two C fight here. The two C fight would we would know after turn one because you usually set up once and then summon the second player on Lance. Yeah, out of all the two C, this is the two C fight of the two of between Champ and Lance that loses the most time. Yeah, he is summoning the second controller. Um, but it's very, very safe. Especially with the special attack that Fury's got, he's gonna potentially run into an issue on Dragonite. But luckily Rapidash is, that will be, is there to clean up. Yeah, so then uh, it's definitely the right play with, uh, with the pace that he's on and this special attack. Um, Phoenix got through the Lickitung fight and also was hit by the Power Whip, uh, but that one did not crit, so still at pretty decent HP, all things considered. We're going to shortly see uh, Fury's special attack at 53, right after the... or on the Gyarados, rather. This is probably a range with Psychic. So he's going to go for Thunderbolt here. Yep. yep. Yeah, once again, uh, safe plays with a minimal time loss are the way to go. For sure at this point. 130. We have a 10 and 16 range on Dragonite. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that's a little bit better than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That Starmie was rough to start off. Okay, yeah, so we're going to see uh, Rapidash go stomp into Dragonite just to be safe here in case he misses the range. Uh, Rapidash should have speed here. Yeah, I feel like Rapidash always outspeeds in this situation. Especially given that it can't be uh, minus speed. Yep, there it is. Yep. I'm right, actually putting in some work there. Yeah. Uh, and then just champ left for Fury as Phoenix starts up the Elite Four. Um, once again, I expect Phoenix to also go to plus six for the lore life fight. Yeah. So it looks like Fury is very likely on free 10 pace here. Oh, yeah, definitely. He doesn't have in his in his screenshot here, he doesn't have a split for champ, but his champ, his egg of the <laughs> split was through a 330. He uh, is not skipping the cutscene. No, like he, yeah, he's doing, he, I did that too. <laughs> It's so easy to forget that cutscene exists. Okay, we have Phoenix looking like she went to plus six as well. On Lorelei. Insert, also, insert Lorelei copy pasta here. I don't know it. <laughs> I know Phoenix already said that copy pasta when she commentated, so. <laughs> Alright, so here's the. Um, Here's the champ fight. Looks like he's actually going to go 1C here. So I'm going to try to go for... Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess on the last one, he just wanted to do the 2C because the range was so bad. Yeah. Um, and then went for the standard totally fight here. Fair. Yep, absolutely. Looks like he's got good special defense. So this star is good at one thing, at least. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty solid special defense. So. Yeah, um... I don't think that's quick attack range. Goes for the full restore. 
line up. So probably going to plus four here, and then set up this uh, set third X special attack on the Vile Plume. Uh, so Eevee does not need to go to plus six. Oh, so, okay, wow. Yep. So Fury is just good from here. Wow, lucky, lucky you. <laughs> um, the only, th <laughs> the only thing is that Fury might need with this special attack. Fury might need to, um, scald the Marowak, Marowak. or else risk yeah. hitting the Forbidden Range. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I forgot. <laughs> But uh, otherwise, Fury is through just fine with a really good time. Uh, as Phoenix yeah, absolutely. starts up Bruno. Oh, got um, Earthquake, but uh, not in faint range. Yep. Interesting that it went for Earthquake with the second Pokemon still in the party. Yeah, it's not guaranteed to uh, go for Stealth Rock, but it seems much more likely to. Yep. Yeah, going for Skull on Marowak, smart play. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Another mm -hmm. one of those ranges that we didn't really discover was a thing until very recently. Yeah, I feel like it's one of the ones that's like been in the notes, but no one's ever considered it until it happened to a couple people. <laughs> uh, Phoenix complaining in Discord that she is not in faint range. Um, was looking to cash in on that bounty. It looks like uh, 14 seconds ahead after champ for uh, for Fury, even with the second bond in the party, that should be a PD. Absolutely. So GG to Fury. So that will uh, that will be put Fury as the top finisher in the lower bracket. Uh, which means that the top three times for lower bracket, which are going to stay in pot two, are going to be Fury, myself, and J Tattles. Yeah, this bumps Crisis down to pot three, which is uh, pretty scary. He's a really great runner, and uh, right. no, I don't think anyone wants to draw him in uh, in the next round. Yeah, I, I know I certainly don't. <laughs> uh, some spicy draws for sure in both brackets. Oh, yeah, there's the time, 3.10.07. That's a PB. Congrats. Uh, Absolutely. GG. All right. And now Phoenix is on Agatha. Um, decides to go for the 2C. Can't argue with that. Um, one nice benefit of 2C Agatha is that you do not need to menu ahead of time. Or after, actually. Maybe we should have Fury joining us uh, briefly. I know it's very late where he is right now, but hopefully he'll be he'll join us for a bit. Uh, Gengar comes out once again. Should just go down, no problem. In fact, uh, you can Scald the Gengars in a 2C Agatha fight, um, which eliminates some turnarounds. So you lose okay. a little bit of time to uh, doing 2C in the first place, but you get some of that time back by eliminating turnarounds. Uh, and then heal up, and then on the final turn, um, will Elixir star me. So, like I said, the... Uh, menu that you would normally do between Agatha and Lance is fully eliminated with this strategy. Right, and through. Uh, Alright, so then just two more fights. Uh, which, both of which, uh, especially if with doing this fight to see um, I fully expect the others to be as well. Oh, right, that's... Uh, Fe Phoenix didn't even buy the X Special Defense, so... Um, <laughs> we have, we'll uh, definitely we have, be doing 2C. A little bit late, we had Phoenix in our in, in our Discord uh, channel. Oh, that's not faint range. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully trying to cash in on that bounty. 
But uh, PB would uh, definitely be a lot better. Right, so here's Lance. We'll probably see 2C here. Um, not sure what her range is on Dragonite. I assume it's at least favorable enough that you go for it in a PB attempt, but definitely uh, not a bad play to go 2C here if, yeah. uh, if she likes to go do that. Which I believe she. Don't know if she bought. Ooh, there's Hyper Beam. <laughs> Uh, Hyper Beam is actually interesting here. Um, you, Phoenix is not going for it, but there. I think if you see Hyper Beam turn one, you can do a slightly different version of the two C, where you delay summoning the second controller. Um, but honestly, I don't know how that works, and I could be completely wrong. Yeah. Fury celebrating the uh, the race win with some slots in the chat. <laughs> Unfortunately, no two wins today, just a single. Right, so Gyarados goes down to a Thunderbolt, uh, no problem. And then... Um, Hopefully Phoenix also hits the range on or hits the range on the Dragonite when it comes out, but once again with a 2C fight it doesn't matter all that much if it's missed. Uh, let's see. Special attack. 139. I don't even think it is a range then. I don't remember the uh, the full table of Dragonite ranges. Yeah, 139 is 15 and 16. Okay. So, very I think, good one. I think Fury is here with us in uh, in the voice chat. Hello. 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 Congrats on the on your uh, PB. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. How'd you uh, How'd you feel about that run overall? I'm a little sad that it's not a sub three ten, <laughs> especially because I forgot to skip the the champ cutscene for a bit. And I think if I didn't, it would have been... Definitely would have been real close with uh, if that cutscene had been skipped. But overall, yeah. that was actually a fairly wild run um, with the yeah. amount of early XP that you had and some of the spawns, uh, like Rare Char. Um, that Rock Tunnel was nuts. <laughs> yeah, the Rock Tunnel was absolutely nuts. You got all your catches so fast. Yeah. Yeah, the, the star was a bit uh, a bit lackluster, unfortunately. That would have definitely uh... brought it home to a sub 310. Yeah, for sure, because you yeah. could have maybe skipped uh, the 2C on Lance, gone to plus 4 on Lorelei, etc. So I see you're going to want to check your... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I want to check. But yeah, I went for 1C on Champ because, I mean, I could just save and... And even if I died, I would still... Like make the cut for pot one, I think, because Crisis has like a three thirteen. Yep. And I just wanted to see if I could get like a sub three ten. But yeah. yeah. Took a shot yeah. at it, but uh, definitely uh, no uh, no shame in, in getting a PB there. Even and it's a speaking PB, of so. yeah, it's a small PB, but we have Phoenix entering. Um, got chat fight. The one slight downside of coming in this way is that Dojo ne isn't necessarily going to get targeted. Um, which is still fairly safe if that doesn't happen, but um, the downside there, the main downside there is that you will, yeah, there it is. So Dodrio is just going to stay in the rest of the fight, um, and so that's, um, it's not any more dangerous, it's just a lot of uh, extra inputs and text uh, as Dodrio tries and fails to do things. <laughs> um, but overall, uh, another excellent run. And I think this is a, two, a double PB race as well, so... I think so. Yeah, it sounds like Phoenix was on a really good run. Oh, yeah, that is the, as the, ca the catch luck that you did, but wow, that is that is the star me. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, we were Not right about so that good. special defense. <laughs> we said the special defense looked good, but... Uh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine PB with, <laughs> with that special attack. Not so good. 
Alright, and uh, yes, like I said, Phoenix is just sweeping through Champ. Um, as long as um, she switches moves for the slow bro, then we're good to go. Yeah. Um, the one other kind of weird thing that happens um, when your second Pokemon does not faint in this fight uh, is what happened here. Um, where the Slowbro can come out earlier. Normally it's the last Pokemon to come out, um, but in this particular case it came out second to last just because um, how the targeting ended up working out. Yeah, and, and with Rapid Ash, um, it, it almost always comes out second if, it's, if Rapid Ash is, has survived. Um, but yeah, and then hit the Scalds. Oh, yeah. I don't think that was a range. Uh, it shouldn't have been. Uh, and that yeah, is, is PB for Phoenix. Yeah, this is a massive PB for Phoenix. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sub 320 easily. Really awesome time for Phoenix. Wow, couldn't have asked for a better race to commentate. This is uh, this is a very good race. Just solid runs from both players here. Yep, absolutely. Um, and hopefully, Phoenix will be up for joining, so we can talk about the excellent PB. I don't think she hit the optionals in the run either, which is... Yeah, that's true. Um, absolutely no optionals from Phoenix. Um, which... I know it took me a lot longer okay, to see, You, you hit the Vermillion optional too, so that's a little bit of... Yeah, I very, was very practicing well. it before the race, and I was not doing well, so... <laughs> I was kind of expecting it. And I was pretty sad because I... I literally just had like it's the chance just before that. And I was, like, Phoenix, yeah, Phoenix has joined us. Then... So. Hello, everybody. GG, Furious. GG, Phoenix. Congrats on the PB, Phoenix. How was your run? Thank you, thank you. So, you know, right before we started the race, I said, good luck. May you get your Rhyhorn and may you get your Ponyta. And I had to wait <laughs> for both. Yeah, that, that Rhyhorn <laughs> so spawn mad. was uh, unfortunate. That took oh. quite a while. Yeah, um, but I'm super happy with that. Like, a apart from a couple of menuing mistakes, I didn't hit any optionals. You know, that went pretty well. So, yeah, you know, I can't complain. Um, and actually, speaking of Rock Tunnel, since you uh, yeah, talked huh? about Rhyhorn, your Onyx stun yep. was one of the most beautiful things I've seen. The juice. <laughs> uh, okay, so I was um, peeking in the Discord uh, discords between catches, and um, somebody said something about a Shining Paris. Yes. Yes, you had a shiny Paris in. So did not notice uh, <laughs> at all. <laughs> the nugget where the nugget was. Oh, okay. I was like, in the corner. I already have one. It's fine, and just didn't even register that it was shiny. But that's cool. Uh, yeah. No, that was. Um, I'm a little sad for two reasons. I was going to be five minutes ahead, and then fumbled a little bit. And the other is, I noticed I hadn't started recording as soon as I caught Evie. So I missed the first like three minutes of my recording, so I can't submit this. But in my heart, I know I have a oh, sub 320. That's, that's okay. Um, uh, I feel like oh, what volume wouldn't have been on. No, like, like main recording. Unfortunately, I don't think that counts. But oh yeah, I know in my heart it was sub 320, and I'll come back to this eventually. But yeah, no, not quite good enough to make it to round three. But considering that I started learning this for the tournament and have ho had time to do, I think this is my fifth or sixth full run. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah really absolutely. solid. Very well done. Yeah. yeah. How did oh, Fury's yeah. run go? I heard something about Chansey. <laughs> a bit more than that, but yeah. Yeah, I have oh, really? the table and the Chansey. Oh, very nice. I, and uh, This Eevee and was Rare good. Char. I am glad. Um, I saw that it was lonely. I'm like, excellent, perfect. Uh, and then I had way more sp attack than I thought I was going to. Um, so yeah, everything was good except for that death on JJ too. Yeah, that oh, one yeah. was a little rough, but um, worked out in the end. It was okay. Yeah. Uh, could be a lot worse, but hey, that's time save for next time. Yep, exactly. 
Um, but yeah, so Fury had a Route 6 glowing Chansey. Oh, perfect. Love it. <laughs> Con the, congratulations. Uh, the XP situation was ridiculous. I had double edge before Kangaskhan. Is 3107 yeah. a PB for you, Furyist? Uh, yes. That's Barely awesome. That's so awesome. Yeah, so another, another double PB uh, race. Well, congratulations. That's I'm so looking forward to, to the final, the, the finals, the next round. Uh, I'll have more time to commentate. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely. I know it's I'm not you can't advance to the next round, but always great to finish the tournament. Your 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 I guess your participation in the tournament with the PB. So that's hell awesome. yeah, hell yeah. Uh, anything else that you want to talk about for your runs? Uh, I'm just going to say, learn this game. It's really fun, and it's easy to learn, hard to master, but like I said, six runs, and I'm already sub-320. So just just do it if, you, if you're at all curious. Sub-320 on physical. Yeah, also that. Right? Impressive. Solid, yeah. We have the Ivasaur screen now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's so funny. Yours looks a lot more evil than mine, but uh. <laughs> mine is yours is a bless emote and mine is a chatting emote. So they do have the exact opposite energy. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, was a fantastic race. Super happy to to commentate that. Thank you both for a great race, and uh, thank you Spider for commentating with me. Yeah. That was all. That was a pleasure. And uh, for shout out to you. shout out to Jordan for tech and too. Jordan thank you all so and much. Jordan, as always. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think that's probably going to be us, it for us because in just a few minutes, the uh, the next race is going to start up on this channel. Apparently, um, yeah. So coming up in now is <laughs> Dynam versus Headbob versus Sai J. Uh, and then tomorrow, uh, a bit earlier in the day at 12 Eastern, uh, we have Wave Warrior versus Trevaria versus Quo to finish off the round. Um, both of which are the uh, upper bracket, um, as yep. with this race, the lower bracket has finished off. Um, so we know exactly uh, what's going to happen there, uh, in the lower at least. And then upper bracket, we still have these two extra spicy races coming up. Um, yep. And I believe the plan is that immediately after the um, race tomorrow, the round three draws will occur. So be sure to... Um, Tune into the race, not only for the race itself, but for uh, the draws afterwards. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I think that's going to be it from us. And we can kick it over to the other run. Yep. Good luck to the next set of runners. <laughs>